Hey, good morning, everybody. What's up? Sorry. Blip. <laughs> How you doing? Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to some more cozy Kend stream vibes. Oh, I'm wearing my D&D &D shirt because last night I finally saw the D&D &D movie, Honor Among Thieves, only three months late. You know, not bad. God, it was so good. Who's seen it? Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Uh, good morning, Smith. Good morning, Commander Happy Pants. Thank you for that prime in 27 months. Holy moly. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Temporally Awry. Good morning, Zed and Ye Old Dice Goblin. Good morning, Alma. Good morning, Ghost Valve. Not came nor able. Thank you for 35 months. Good morning to you as well, friend. How are you? I went to see the D&D movie with my teenager. It was exactly what I wanted it to be. It was great. Good morning, Dalrent. Shardpunk Verminfall is such a metal name. It's really hard to say. It feels like a mashup of seven other games, even though there's only like four words in there. And as such, I always, I always struggle to remember what the name of this game is. Like, what game are you playing? I'm like, Frostpunk. Nope. Shardpunk. <laughs> Uh, oh, one of the things that I loved the most about the D and D movie is that it was fun, which is something I have really struggled with in a lot of D and D related IP lately. Is it feels so often that in order to make the stakes believable or to try and hook the audience that they they suddenly have to make the whole world like grimdark or really heavy where D, D can have stakes but also be yeah campy is a great way to look at it just a good time you know good morning patch Witch. we thank you so much like the minute two raid we just went live i'm so so flattered you're stopping on by this morning how was the crafting we're talking about the D, &D movie which was absolutely delightful. And, and this, is, this is an argument I've been losing with a lot of my friends for a while. Um, in particular, Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3 is... It, it wasn't... It was good, but it wasn't fun. It wasn't lighthearted. And there is a certain... There's a certain amount of just like... Lightheartedness that I feel you... I, I like to see in a D&D &D campaign. Um, that I think the D&D &D movie absolutely nailed. I just had this big, dumb grit on my face the whole time. The whole time. You believe you're watching an actual D&D &D campaign? Yeah, right? I don't want to get too into hyper-specifics. You know, spoiler talk and all that sort of stuff, but neat stuff. All right, I have a question, though. I do have a question. This is... Plot adjacent. It has nothing to do with the plot. What is Holga's class? Is she a fighter or a barbarian? I was trying to think of like what the stat sheets are. Barbarian, barbarian all the way. Okay. Oh, I had an assumption for that. She actually rages at one point. I do remember the screaming. Okay, that's fair. I was mostly just thinking about like improvised weapons. Oh wait, they literally published all of the stat sheets? Are you kidding me? Where? Oh, I need to know that. They made character sheets for the entire main cast is incredible. I, I I love that. I love that so much. Oh, that's so funny. Hold on. I need to look this up. D&D &D Honor Among Thieves character sheets. What's up, Quakor? 
Your arrival has been foretold. <sighs> oh my god, they even made like D&D style splashes of the characters! Oh, that's so good! Oh my god. Oh my god. Now you can meet the characters of the Dungeons and Dragons movie in your own game. The Thieves Gallery contains stat blocks for the following. The characters? The magical items? I love that. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah, the sheets may have some spoilers. I don't want to look at too much of it right now. Oh, but that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Thank you for sharing that. I love that. Totally not a beholder. Very applicable right now. What's up, friend? Whoa, Prime and 36 months. That's an emerald bean. Thank you so much for your continued support. That's wild. Never put off till tomorrow, but you can do the day after tomorrow just as well. Yeah. You need a D&D &D Beyond login? I think I have a character. Character. I think I have a D&D &D Beyond thing. Maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. I was doing, especially during the early days of the pandemic, I was doing like a lot of online RP stuff. So it's highly possible that I grabbed it at some point. Is D&D Beyond just their portal or is it a service you pay for? I can't remember. Just won your very first Commander game? Congratulations. Nah, it's a good milestone. It's both paid and free. Okay, right, 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 right. Right, you get, there's a subscription model. Uh, there's like um, a base model and a premium model. Yeah. All right, I digress. Hey, let's hop into the video games, friends. I think I had left camera. Yo, Quakor, thank you so much for that brand new tier one sub, friend. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. I need to come up with something clever, like Voxy says. Be like, now you're legally required to hang out with me for a month. I just don't quite have the charm to pull that off. <laughs> All right, so welcome back to Shardpunk Vermin Fall, which is this absolutely, I'm really digging this. Uh, this this absolutely fantastic, it's kind of like a um, an XCOM adjacent, Darkest Dungeon adjacent tactics game. So yeah, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try Mycroft again. I um, I really liked Tilly. I liked Katana. Shing! Wait, actually, hold on. There's a. Let's try another. What is propaganda talk? Dual skills. Blade slash. Attack enemies with blade. Slice blade. Move and attack all adjacent enemies with your blade. Blade Overwatch. <gasps> Attacks enemies that come into melee range with your blade. It can be triggered as many times as the current number of action points. Oh. Uh, you know what? Hold on. New sword friend. Uh, we're going to take Hector. Mr. James Hector Turner. An Imperial police officer and skilled at fencing. And I'm going to be honest. I think I preferred... Where was the other sniper we got? I think I preferred Gunter to Gideon. So Gunter. Pistol. Fires the pistol at your side. Does not consume weapon heat. One to two damage. It's not very good, but we can level that up pretty quickly. What's up, Ferret? Push it to the limit. Wait, hold on. Uh, gain five stress to gain an action point. Gallows humor. Minus six stress for yourself, but plus four for everyone else. Sadistic. Oh, this is interesting. This kind of reminds me of the, um... In Darkest Dungeon, there was, like, the werewolf character, and which, which is the one, uh, the, the flagrant or whatever? Flagrant? I don't know how to pronounce it. Has sort of, like, a similar, similar thought process. Similar thought process there. Pardon me. The Abomination, yeah. Attack an enemy with a chainsaw. It uses weapon heat. Base two to four damage. Interesting. That's pretty low for a melee attack. Taunt. All nearby enemies become marked. Makes them easier to hit. You can also stun them. Go aggro.
Uh, we're going to go with Gunter here. And we'll see who we randomly get. And then, of course, we'll take our very good beep boop. Very good beep boop. Flagellant is how you pronounce it. Thank you. Have I played any good RPG or roguelikes recently? Yes. <laughs> uh, excellent. I mean, this is kind of a roguelike. I'm digging this game. I played... It's pretty computer heavy, but I played... Oh, crap. What was it called earlier? It was the shooty one. Very pretty. It was kind of a... Returnal. Returnal was amazing when I played that on Steam. Absolutely love that. Let's turn the tutorial off this time. And uh, we're going to be checking out a new RPG. Well, new to us RPG on the channel pretty quick, too. It's called... Oh, heck. Vez added me about it. Outland? We're going to be doing a playthrough of that pretty quick on part of Operation Month Long Variety. As we wait for 1.20 to come out. I'm scrolling back through general right now. Outward is what it's called. <clears throat> the 1.20 variety waiting room. You got it, kids. The capital was under siege for many weeks. The vermin horde, relentless, and imperial enforcement. Imperial reinforcement still hadn't arrived. Well, I can't English right now. Still, there was hope. A new kind of weapon, one that could turn the tides of the war, had been manufactured in one of the capital's laboratories. Sadly, that happened too late. Under the cover of night, enemies emerged inside the city from underground. Defenders were caught off guard, and the vermin flooded the capital. No one was safe. Industrial suburbs. Oh yeah, also, if you haven't checked it out yet, um, War Tales is probably like one of my top five games of the year right now. Absolutely love it. That's sort of, it's like sort of tactics, sort of an RPG. All right, so we want to hit this. We want to get there. We also want to hit this. So just wondering how much time I can spend in other places. Was it a giant mouse trap? It should have been. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. I can't get out of here. That's very interesting. I didn't think of that. Do I have time to book it all the way there? No, I'll just grab the two and get out. I don't think that's worth. Especially considering that's a dead end. Rats? Rats? Bet you they're going to come from up there. Let's go here and then overwatch. Here they are. What? What? Shocked. Hey, what's up, Chrono? Good to see you, friend. Where? But where are they? Rats. Where? Oh, there's our line of sight. All right.
Support mode active. Come and get some. Pew pew! Oh wait, it's not working yet. <laughs> Nice, there we go. All right. Can I shing shing them both? No, only singular shing. Woo! Another vermin down. This one's gonna run around the corner and then we're gonna pew pew it. What, no pew pew? How dare they attack my automaton? Shing! <laughs> oh no! Another pack. Uh, pod? Lure them towards us, it'll be fine. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. All right, let's reposition to here. Oh, that was my whole turn, huh? they move. You know, shoot me from there like cowards. Oh, cowards! Ooh, dang. I definitely don't appreciate that. That's my bad. If I had moved, I, uh... Yeah. That is just on me, though. Alright. Let's get moving. For a group of rats, you have some interesting choices. A colony, a plague, or a plaque. Oh, we're talking about, like, collective nouns. A hurricane of rats. Hmm. That is a pretty good word choice. Alright, I played that a little not great. A mess of rats. A nope of rats. A uh, looting bonus for this chest. Collective noun is mischief. Can't it have multiple or no? All right, that's good stuff. And then we want to get down here next. I should probably try and regroup everybody here. A skaven of rats. Oh, good word choice. Alright, let's start getting ready to overwatch again here, because I have uh, I have a suspicion that things are about to get real pretty quick. Yeah, 
Yeah. I thought about bringing my, my friend through here and I was like, you know what? That is a bad idea. <laughs> Get to cover. I have a suspicion that I'm going to want to set up here. Just a, just a random suspicion, you know? I bet you there's going to be enemies down there, too. Nice shot. Hey, what's up, Paul? Don't worry, Serge. This is a video game. It's not real. How dare you? How dare you try and tell me what is and what is not real? <laughs> How do you know this isn't a documentary of the future? Wait. Prophetic. That's a better word documentary of the future. <laughs> You're the arbiter of reality? That's fair. I, I can respect that. Let's see if there's any rats down here. All right, let's leave you overwatching. Two shots should be enough to kill that one. You know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should start moving forward a bit here. I'm actually going to tell me the cake is a lie. Okay. No! I should I should have left two people there. I've made mistakes. Mistakes. I've made a few. You'd like <laughs> to lodge several lengthy complaints. It's true. Paul, I'm disappointed that we haven't talked about the latest North 100 showdown together. I was like, Paul, talk to me about Highlander. And Paul was all like, I'm going to bed. Because I'm an adult and I work in the morning. I was like, wow, devastating. I think this is the one that I have to hold for two turns. Doop, 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 doop. You're an adult and work in the morning. There's no rats this time. That's kind of exciting. All right. Chat later. I'd love to discuss your rampant misplay. It's true, though. Do you see how poorly I played... Game two, the best of five series. Very disappointed in myself. Not up to my usual standards. That's not true. I, I play pretty loose. I play like somebody who wants to have a good time. Which against Wheeler is often not good enough. You think they have a pistol? Or are they all in on Chainsword? They might all be on in on Chainsword. Oh no, they have a pistol. That's good. Let's have you hold here, just in case you have to wait two turns for that. Let's have you start moving forward. Anybody here? You know we safe. Nice. Oh, it heals them. Oh, ho, ho. I think I knew that at some point. Let's, uh, let's start setting up. I have no idea if enemies are going to come run at me down here, but you know, you never know. Aha! That's what I thought.
Alright, come around that corner, I dare you. Ah, oh, you fool. <laughs> oh, they lived! Alright, we're gonna have to level up that pistol, that's for sure. shoot them. Pew pew! Oh, that was not enough damage. Run around the corner? Are you just gonna stand there and shoot at me? Ah, oh, they sent the cannon fodder first. Very clever. turns to escape. Simply crit? Did not simply crit. I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, jeez. Oh, butts. Oh, my. Oh, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness. What the? No. Oh. Uh, so, uh, right click is not cancel attack. So that's why I just. Oh, and I. Mm, it's fine. It's fine. I just. I uh, just messed everything up. <laughs> oh, I've made so many mistakes. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Well, I got I got news for you about that. So this door's about to open, so we can leave. I don't have to hold my ground, I just have to get out. Not bad for an old timer, eh? Open door, everyone gets five minus stress. Got a little hairy at the end. Maybe 9 a.m. is a little bit early to, you know, play perfectly in a strategy game, but here we are. <laughs> so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some slightly different stuff this time. Let's go with search old stashes. Cause I hear this gets a little busto. Hector, I want to take Blade Overwatch. That seems very strong. Because I can hold sort of a corner, hold a checkpoint, you know what I mean? Uh, I think we need to max out pistol as soon as possible. And then let's go ahead and level up support mode. That gets busto at the end. Now, something we learned last game. I want to try and 
move things around this time a little. Can I take the uh, an extra action point? Oh, I want to get no time to rest. Can I level that up right now or no? no? I don't have any points. Okay, that's too bad. So I was kind of hoping to do plus one AP for every character during the shelter phase. Because um, that seemed quite strong. Oh, it's even got the meme of the two flexi, the two veiny biceps shaking hands. All right, because I thought this could snowball really quickly if you take it earlier, right? Plus one AP for every character during the shelter phase. Like that's absurd, right? That's very strong. All right, well, since I can't do that, I think once again, my choices are either face the danger in order to kill things and lower that, or just plus one. Let's just take plus one HP for now. Ah, face the danger. Wow, it's the exact same choice as last time. Um, I'm gonna take toughness first, because I would like to not die. Well, that was messy, but we made it out. You've been told to take the, automa the automaton to the Imperial Palace before the vermin overrun this part of the city. Sadly, the closest bridge has been destroyed. We'll have to take the long way. Now, I'm curious if the route will be... Oh, I guess we do the camp phase first, and we'll figure out if the route is random or if it's the same each time. We need to reach that bridge. All right, let's get some upgrades going. Need more damage on everybody. Let's install aim on this one or also damage on this one. Now I want chance to hit. You tend to take a lot of overwatch shots. All right, uh, let's rest you. I think I have to rest heal. That'll be two of them. Search the old stash. Medical supplies, grenade food supply. That's kind of cool. Good morning, Dugma. How are you, friend? All right, what else can we do? Propaganda talk. What does that do? Minus four stress to everyone, plus one shelter action points. Oh! Oh, that's the next level. Okay. Well, that, that seems strong. Once we're done leveling ourselves up here. Um, I have three points left. Let's just go ahead and search everything here. Medical supplies. Medical supplies. Nice. Oh, that's all gone. Um, What else can I do then? I guess I could craft another stim pack? Nah. You have any skills? You don't. All right, well, maybe maybe I'm a genius for not taking that early action point because, like, I don't have anything else to do, really. I'm out of actions. My craft is down one HP. Yeah, I don't think it's worth uh, the medical supplies to get there. So when we go to the final phase, which is feed everybody, my craft will get one bonus HP from the food, and these two will get a plus 10 dodge chance for the next combat round. I think that's better than spending four for um, medical supplies for one HP. That'll get healed anyways. I could make another stim pack. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Welcome to the distribute food phase. What's up, doodly-doo? 
So this looks remarkably similar to the last time. More loot. All enemies are mute to being stunned. Mute to being stunned. Rain. Grenades have a chance of malfunctioning. Fewer vermin. Special encounter. Deadlier vermin. Electric storm. No, that looks new. Maybe not. Stash of shards should be present here. Less loot. Less loot is present here. Well, that's not good. Longer distance. Wait, no, maybe this is different. Grenades are unusable. Hmm. All right, let's start here in the old factory. Good morning, Night Valian. The capital, Upper Dralmeek Factory. Eight hours after the attack. Random question. Is this supposed to be London, England? Is that like... Is that accurate to say? Want to get down here again. Ooh, there's three blue things that we can loot. Uh, last time we came to this map, there were snipers. It's raining, so it's England, all right? I don't know if this is, like, very specifically supposed to be London or not. You know what I mean? The streets look like the day after a soccer game. Wow. Due to the size of the rats, it's either London or New York. All, all fair. Name. Watch out. Snipers. To cover over here. You're not the only one who can play snipers. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Sniper, no sniping. Exactly. Disappointing. Try and get up there and hide. Um, I have a 95% shot at somebody. It's a little unfortunate that I can't kill them. What if... No, I don't have enough cover there. That's only two cover. Well, if I get to here... This is tough. They outrange me, so but maybe I'm making a mistake. All right, I have a hundred percent chance now. I don't know what changed. I just need to simply high roll. You know what? I'll take that. Oh, buckets! Ah. Uh, Come on. Big hits. Big hits. Don't kill my robot.
Will I have to reload? Devastating. Alright, whatever. We'll use the pistol to try and kill the other one. 85%. Deals 4 to 5 damage now. What? I dealt like 1 to 2. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I get 2 shots here. 70% chance. Oh my god. Uh, okay. That was not the not the start I was necessarily hoping for here. What is the new codex entry I have? Marked. When a character becomes marked, they're 25% easier to hit. Marked can be removed when we hunker down. Okay. Noted. Oh, I'm still marked. So that little X means. All right. Let's hunker down and remove that. So the nice thing is, I believe this will repair my little robo. Provided we, uh, you know, live long enough. Uh, we should be fine. Hey, we got another fusion core. Nice. So where do we want to head? We want to stay low. All right. Rat should show up either this turn or next turn. Yep. All right, watch this. Sword Overwatch. They're going to show up from here and I'm going to get so much value. You're going to be like, dang, Surge. How are you so smart? Just you wait. Oh. <laughs> They're too scared to show up. That's fair. That's fair. There they are. Now, is it possible there's another pod at the gate? Or I think maybe I'm okay. shot. Nice. Dodged. Let's go. My weapon overheated. I need to vent.
disappointing. Ooh. Alright, we're all healed up. Stuff. Can I, like, vault out this window or no? No, I definitely can't. That's fine. Alright, let's move here. That should give us a pretty big flanking bonus. Wait, 65%. Hold on. Oh, wait. I, uh... Oops. Uh... <laughs> Fine. Oh my god, everyone has to vent. I keep forgetting if I don't have my little robot doing the hard work for me. My ability to, uh... My ability to fight diminishes significantly. here. Saw a rat venting in the sewer. Very sus. Very sus. All right, everybody, Let's chill for four more turns. Nice shot. I didn't even see them. <laughs> Actually, I should have ran them down for unlimited fire. That's fine. Well done, Mr. Valentine. One less rat to worry about. Can you? No. Fifty percent chance to hit. Well, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. There you go. See? What's my range on this character? All right, that's fine. You gonna run forward? You are going to run forward. Nice. Well, that's 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> As I was saying, all right, evac in one turn. Strictly speaking, you also hit 100% of the shots you don't take. Oh, wait, hit 100% of the shots you don't take. No, that's that's not how that works. How can you hit the shot if you don't take it? Show your math, confused. GG. Well done, squad. Now, something that's interesting is I have significantly less food this run than the previous one. Yeah.
you have a hundred percent hit rate I don't know I'm on team you have to have taken at least one shot for it to count that's like saying I've won every single Oscar I've applied to right every single movie I've been in has won an Oscar right like that doesn't work I think we're I think we're being a little too generous 100% of zero is zero? Yeah, exactly. Wait, no, hold on. Time out. But that doesn't mean 100%. That would mean 100% of zero is 100, not the other way around. You've won every single professional MMA fight you've been in? Yeah, exactly. Logically true is if you've been in a base. I disagree. I think you have to be pretty generous for that to work. I don't think it worked. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, right, these are weapon upgrades. Let's go ahead and do ba do ba do. It's the number of action points you're in shelter phase. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking about. Grab that. I don't think I need it yet, still. Usefulness of vacuous truths is debatable, but hey, they're a thing. Passive. All right, what am I looking at here? Uh, let's take let's take no time to rest. No, I still don't think I need that. I think I want to take face the danger, and once I grab another skill or two, then we'll grab no time to rest. Continue. I do like the line I've won every single MMA fight I've been in, though. That's that's a strong line. All right, let's start upgrading our stuff here. This is kind of great. We need more damage on basically everybody. So give you damage. Your damage is your sword. I have a hard time figuring out what to do. Oh, wait, I should also... Sorry, I'm distracting myself. Uh, we should also give you an energy cell. We should give you an energy cell. We should give you aim. So that you never miss. There we go. Um, I was gonna say I, have a, I always have a hard time figuring out if I should level up the pistol for the melee character or not, but like this is all fine. Two level four weapon. Probably okay. Now, uh, let's give you a little bit of the old heal in here. Heal self. Okay, I don't have any food. Maybe I can get lucky and find some food. Search old stashes. There's some food. Wow. That was really good stuff. Search old crates. Get some scrap. Search old shelves. Two shards. Yeah, I need to take some more skills that I could use in this section because uh, I'm going to be leaving with two extra points up. I've got 10 stim packs, packs. I've got nine grenades. Like, I don't need to make them. I could save those for later because I want to keep the meds just in case somebody gets hurt. Can you increase the range of the sword guy's pistol for better overwatch? I don't think I have a range upgrade. I just have an aim upgrade, right? Because the weapon modifications we have, none of them is actually range. I just need to have a better understanding of where to position ranged people. And it's obviously closer. The other one had a... Enemies always miss their first attack on their turn. Wow. Yeah, maybe I'm just supposed to position them further forward. Let's try untouchable next time. And then just leave them a little bit further from the team. All right, let's distribute food. And I don't have enough food for everybody, which is a little awkward. Maybe I'm just supposed to give you a dodge chance and not worry about it. Seems like people don't get sad if I don't give them food. Which is uh, neat. 
<clears throat> Rat ogres. Okay. Lightning bolts can damage characters. Uh, stash of shards. I don't really know what to do with shards. Let's just go to the warehouse. Fight the deadlier vermin. We'll go deadlier vermin. We'll actually try the um, remove special event next time. There we go. If we're lucky, this map will find a fourth friend. Welcome to the warehouses, 14 hours after the attack. Hey, Jojo. Can I have some throat goo? Oh, you, you sound so upset about that. Alright, we want to get there. Oh, this is interesting. For the first time, the loot, uh, the exit is along the bottom. So, what's our best route here? I think the best route actually involves some loot, so we go this way and in. Having a bit of a pest problem? Have I tried poison? Band? I like the end to um, Mars Attacks. Just play poison music and then all their heads explode. One second, please. Uh -huh. I mean, that was, that was an underrated joke. Come on. All right, where are the rats at? Maybe they're around the corner here? I bet you they will be. I bet you I'm gonna pop around the corner here and they're gonna come here or there. You ready for it? You just noticed my party has a crab. It's true. Little robo crab. We should give it a name. You know, make sure it feels make sure it feels welcome and appreciated in the group. Where? Where are they? Jewel. Oh, there they are. This one is big. See our first rat ogre? That is a lot of enemies. Ha ha! <laughs> yes, please group up, you fools. Now get get stack right on top. Can you get close enough for grenade? Ah, not quite, but that's still pretty cool. Good stuff. So can I? No, you need ah, you need line of sight to grenade, huh? We might get hit a little here. <clears throat> I 
I like that. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is going tremendously well. You know, if I do say so myself. All right, let's go stand on top of all the loot and then shing! I was thinking of getting some armor shredding or some armor piercing here. Chop and blast. Hit an enemy with melee and a ranged attack in a single turn. Then the enemy will be stunned. Well, that's kind of cool. I shoot first and then I remove the boosty. Then I don't have to reload my weapons. What's up, cat guys? You for your work lunge? Amazing. All right, let's get moving on in. That was really clean. I thought I did a very good job there. You know, if I do say so myself. Oh, oh no, enemies from behind. <laughs> Time for wave two, yeah. I was just getting confident there for a second. So my sword friend really didn't do anything except for maybe kind of like bait them into position, which I don't know how I feel about. I have to go all the way around the long way. I wonder if they'll come back down or go up. Ah, explosives. So here's my plan. These are all melee enemies, right? So if I go here and I just say, come at me. What's going to happen, you know? Oh, is this the correct way now? Uh, I think actually I was supposed to go back down. No, no, no. We're going to go this way and through here. That's got even better loot. I'm picturing almost like an anime scene, right? Where... Like, dude with a cape <laughs> and a sword walks out and just stands in the middle of the hallway and is like, you go on ahead. Leave this to me. <laughs> you know? And everyone's like, what? <laughs> I got this. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. We're never gonna. Oh, there we go. Finally. Oh. Wait, don't hit me with poison. No! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought I was so smart. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, all right. This this is going poorly. What's up, Mama Tats? Good to see you, friend. I hope you're having an amazing day. All right, let's just hold at the end of this hallway here real quick. I need you to get out.
second here. Sword guy bravely ran away. I mean, yeah. Kind of need to here, don't I? No, don't get close enough for poison, please. Okay. Like, I keep wanting the melee to do cool stuff, right? Like... Wow. Nice crit. You go loot, I guess. <laughs> oh no! Uh, crap. Oh, that's a lot of stress. Nice. Nice. All right, quickly loot all this, then we get out. Maybe it makes sense to actually run you ahead and start the countdown. Maybe. Right, this should activate looting spree now. Didn't finish them? Ooh. Not like this. Oh man, everyone has to go through this poison now? What is that angle they're shooting at me from? No, 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 not like this, not like this.
All right, you cowards. Push me. Somehow, I think we stabilized, which is unreal. All right, let's actually slow extract here. Can fix your robot in the combat map correct yeah or in the little camp area i think that's what you meant Oh, right here, like with a stim pack? I believe in order to repair your friend, you need to um, you need to use a repair core. I don't think you can stim pack it. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But it's fine. I don't even see who we're killing. And you know what? I'm here for it. Final turn. All right, final turn. Let's get everybody into position here to get out. All right, minus five stress to everybody when the door opens. Definitely felt like I <laughs> overstayed a little bit here. Oof. Grab those body piles. Those ones? Maybe. Maybe it would have been a good call. I probably could have ran forward with my sword friend and grabbed some loot there. The problem is it's not even a guarantee of loot unless you get the looting bonus for looting a bunch of stuff all at once. But yeah, it could have been more than nothing, certainly. All right, what'd you get? To reach level three. What does this do if I level it up? Four to six random supplies. That's pretty good. Blade Overwatch. Attacks the enemies that come into melee range with your blade. Will be triggered as many times as the current number of action points. Plus two. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, propaganda talk. 
minus four stress to everybody. And plus one shelter points, everybody. Sure, I'll, I'll put a point in, to that. What does Untouchable do? Oh, right, crap. We were thinking about Untouchable. Untouchable lets them dodge at least one attack, so it lets me position them further forward. I'm kind of tempted by Propaganda Talk just so that I could um, heal people up, but that is something I want to level up into next. Turns out, a lot of good skills here. I'm not as excited about the skill tree on Mycroft, but yeah. Anyways, I think I want to take... I want to keep leveling up Pistol, but I think I want to take Energy Soul Tuning here because I'm going to have the free action point anyways. Upgrade Robo. Uh, support mode is maxed out. Nice. All stress reducing skills in the shell to reduce more stress. It's kind of cool. All right. Heals an extra one, which is kind of... Let's give this a try. See what it does. No time to rest. I love that we somehow lived through all of that. <laughs> I was really worried, if I'm honest. All right, search old stashes. What do we get? Medical supplies, stim packs, food. Wow. All right. Uh, propaganda talk. That should reduce a huge chunk of my stress, right? The glory of the empire will prevail. It's basically free. Like, look at that. All right, so now I can rest. The other thing we can do now that we're here is we can repair the automaton. Pairs that up. Let's go ahead and heal myself here. Now you can charge your gun. Search the crates. Wow. And still, <laughs> still, I have way too much stuff. We didn't get any upgrade parts there, which is a little bit too bad. We're going to have five extra? Okay. I uh, I may have miscalculated slightly, but that's okay. What, a, what an abundance of wealth we have currently. So now this might get us to start changing our, our level up route slightly. Or maybe once we get a fourth character, we'll have more stuff that we can do. Uh, food is going to heal the last two people for that last point. I think that's more efficient than using that. We got so many grenades. We have so many stim packs. I don't need to. I don't need to do anything. All right, good, good. This is going well. Let's just leave. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, is this fine? <laughs> Sure, let's give you some dodge, too. We're getting lots of food here, so why not? Maybe I should be using more grenades. I tried to line it up that one time. The issue is... I don't know. The issue is the range, if I'm honest. Armored rats. Enemies will now have extra pieces of armor. All right, we need to start shredding that. Yo, Core Flux. Thanks for the 100 biddies, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. All right, let's go deal with this this time. Uh, we skipped this the previous time, and I don't think that was the correct choice in hindsight. So let's learn. Let's get a fourth friend. A little work and lurk today. Working and lurking on a Sunday. Sorry to hear that. All right. Explore the mines. Now, this is odd to me. It's odd to me that there are mines underneath a city. Wow, this is huge. What in the world? 
All right, head north. I guess north is the only way to go. Sure. Any rats? All right, let's go grab this. Let's greet a little. All right, can I get the far loot first? Nice, I can. So we do this. Plus one food, plus one stim pack. Good stuff. All right, let's hold you. No, let's go here and hold you. Oh, interesting. You need a full turn cycle to hunker down there. All right, any second now. Come around a corner, rats everywhere. Still not there, fascinating. So that is ominous. <laughs> you know? Can you get your units to grenade overwatch? That'd be cool. That was, you could do that in the last game. What last game did you play that lets you do that? That sounds sick. Grenade overwatch? That's strange. We should be seeing them by now. Yeah, agreed. Thank you for also pointing out that this is weird. All right, let's get you all the way across to here. All right, you ready for the ambush? The ambush that we know inevitably is going to be coming. What game was that, Lex Peacekeeper? Out of curiosity. Hey, what's up, Mr. Gibberish? What is... Hello? Deep boop. Stim pack and scrap. Aha. There they are. Watch out for the banner wielding ones. Hello. Can I? Yeah, see, just outside of the range of a nade. Oh, that's blocking line of sight. That's a problem, isn't it? Shing! All right, let's try and get out there and do some uh, do some sword stuff now. 
Oh, I fail. <laughs> yeah, I got no line of sight here. Okay, so that rock, this is new to me, that rock completely blocks line of sight. I crit! God, I'm so good at video games. You should just crit all of the time, chat. It's my advice to you. Was it the XCOMs for the PS Vita? Huh. I'm going to kind of split in two directions here. Uh, direction one is going to be these three. Direction two is going to be this way for loot. Now that is something worth blowing up. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, that's so funny. The quest marker being like, blow that up. And I was like, okay, sure. So I wonder if I just have to go and click on it or if I actually have to like click it with uh, grenades. You found a, a rat, a net, a rat's nest. Blow this up is a very good tool tip, right? So again, I don't know. There's like two different ways that you can blow something up. You know what I mean? Got our looting bonus now. Oh, I should, um, I should reload. I'm still confused as to why there's mines under the city, but you know, like, I guess it is what it is, right? Like, <laughs> how, how y'all doing? Alright, I feel as though I might need to be moving with a little bit more urgency here. It is very interesting to me that this game will eventually just overwhelm you with numbers, you know? Like, that's, that's cool. The point is not to clear everything, the point is to survive. Could be the mines were an economic driver at the start of the city, but eventually other industries took over and the mines were abandoned and the city simply grew over them. What if it's like, um, <clears throat> oh, hello. What if it's like, um, old world war? I mean, again, on the theory that this is London, what if this was, um, old school? Hold on, I need to, I need to do something about this quest. Blow up with fusion core. What if I didn't have a fusion core? Let's get out of here. Now. All right. 10 turns remaining? Hey, look, I finally used a grenade chat.
Yeah, it's like odd to me that they're mines and not sewers or tunnels or whatever, you know? But I, it is what it is. I'll stop worrying about it. <clears throat> you shoot, old man? Can't believe they shot Gunter. <clears throat> wow, they're shooting everybody. This is hot garbage. Ching! One less rat to worry about. These poison spitters look like trouble? Which poison spitters? Crap! <laughs> Is this an alternate history Earth? Because London sewers were constructed to deal with IRL issue named the Great Stink. In 1858. Oh, that's kind of cool. Tell me about the Great Stink. Right. Having no armor shred is kind of unfortunate. Seems less shooty shooty and more run like heck. Unfortunately, I have to run like heck towards them, which is a bit of a problem here, especially considering my, um, my vulnerable backside is open to them. <clears throat> Volpier, what's up, friend? Yo, thank you for 36 months. That's big. Just want to say your stream yesterday was very helpful in distracting me from the tattoo I was getting on my arm. Well, that's flattering. To think that, um... We're hanging out with some... Wait, what, what are you showing me now? There's someone there. Oh, they're bleeding out. Well, buckets. Hold on. Can I use one of these now? That'll hit three. That'll hit three. Ignores armor. Three to five damage. That'll hit two. Really unfortunate here. Lake bears, I think, need to die. Oh, they didn't die. What do I what do I even do here? I think I'm supposed to shoot. I think I'm supposed to shoot in this direction too. I think I'm especially supposed to shoot the ones with guns. Maybe actually I was supposed to just stay in sword overwatch. I have no idea. Yikes. My boy might be dead here. The 2 to 7 damage range is not good. <laughs> nice to hit that the first time. Like, this is something. Oh, they didn't die either?
Nice. Oh, that's that retaliation is so nice. <clears throat> As with many games, the last health is the only health that matters. It's true. <laughs> hey, what's up, Arclight? Oh, rats. We're playing Verminfall. I know. Excellent work, Mr. Valentine. Uh, I have two turns to get there. Sorry, I meant... Oh my god! I don't think I'm gonna be able to save this dude. Of all the times to have the opportunity to get a fourth person to join the team... Wait, close call. Oh, close call only retaliates once, eh? Miss. 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 What if we had... Well, what if we didn't have more rats? That was bad. Rush it. I don't know what that means. Skills. Rush it. Grants an extra action point that can be spent on a non-movement action. Cool down two turns. Kill an enemy after using rush it. Cool. What's up, Raven? Okay, somehow we stabilized. Now we run. How many turns do I have? Four turns? Am I going to get out? Up right there. That's the one that takes one turn to loot. I need to reload her gun. I need to just get, focus on getting out. So stressful. I think we're good. I was trying to see if I could math and greed up there, but I, I don't think I can. I think I just die. 
<laughs> I think I just die if that's the case. Two turns? Yeah, I think we get out on literally the very last turn. Yes. I think I get out actually this last turn. All right, let's just start getting people out of here. At the very least, I don't lose. James Hector Turner has gotten out. Holy moly! What, what was this mission? Maybe could have gotten the box. I... I... Maybe. Yeah. The problem... Yeah. The problem would have absolutely been the movement. Alright. We somehow did it. <laughs> we out! And we finally... This is the first time ever. We finally actually have a fourth member of our party. Uh, that never worked out last playthrough. They just kept... Unfortunately, trading. The explosion destroys the tunnels. Those of you who manage to escape hide in an underground bunker. There will be no vermin in the area for a little while. So you have some time to rest. Unlocks available. Alright, I need to start getting some armor shred. Even though I don't think I have any gun upgrades available. But armor is a significant issue. Combat. Blowing up the shards. In order to blow up the pile of shards, approach the blue area with any unit with a fusion core and perform a special action. If you don't want to spend fusion cores, you can use your automaton instead. Ah! You'll have a limited number of turns to escape the map before the tile blows up. So be prepared. Neat. You get XP just for surviving. You don't... So what's neat about this one is you don't actually get XP based on kills. One person gets one XP based on kills. Right? So the point of this game is to survive, not to farm, which is fascinating. All right, let's take Untouchable now. That seems strong. All right, Field Medic. Healing a character, this is a passive ability. Healing a character additionally grants them plus 20% to hit. Oh, cool. Healing a character additionally grants them plus 20% for two turns. If you revive or heal an ally, enemies will miss all melee and ranged attacks against the healer. Wow. This is Russia that we took. Salvage Bandage. Oh, cool. Weak spot. Plus three damage when attacking wounded enemies. Wow. Improved Overwatch. Automatically enter Overwatch if you moved only this turn. What? Seems strong. Seems very strong. All right, let's get more points of toughness here. Well, we got a little beat up and that's okay. You know, <gasps> right. Uh, let me remove armored rats. Plus three AP. Look, I have 12 AP now. This is absurd. All right, let's have a little propaganda talk here. I have 15 action points. <laughs> All right. So, Rose. Hi. Rose. Let's salvage for some bandages. On my legs and my arms from you. And then let's get some heal self going here. Oh, 
old soldier's advice. Now, nobody's stressed, but it will give a bonus to hit and defense to everybody. So defense is dodge chance. Kind of a low roll there, but that's fine. Search the old shelves. All right. Now, now we're starting to snowball a little here, eh? Uh, we should repair the robo. Is this a new playthrough from yesterday? Yeah, we died. You just happen to have Gunter and Mycroft again? Correct. My starting party, I kept Mycroft because he seemed strong. I chose Gunter over whatever the other sniper's name was. Plus two food. All right. The new character seems good. Anytime you can get more AP in a tactical game is amazing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And the free Overwatch too? Big fan. All right, let's uh, sharpen your gun again here. So look at this. I was like extra generous with everything I was trying to do, and I still have four action points left. I don't want to full heal everybody because I'm getting a little bit low on medical supplies, and we'll be able to get one more heal on both of these characters. So hopefully, if I play the next level a little bit, a little bit carefully, I won't take any damage. Uh, not getting any upgrade parts is kind of too bad, but maybe she comes with some. She has energy cell and aim already, so that's not bad at all. Yeah, I need uh, armor shred, armor pierce. The only thing we have that shreds armor currently is our grenades, which is uh, not great, I'm honest. Something interesting, actually, this playthrough compared to the last playthrough, I'm so rich in action points that I don't really need to take face the danger just because I'm already clearing all of my stress, right? So I can really focus these other points elsewhere. I use two fusion cores that level, though, so I got to be a little bit careful of those. Pardon me. I think we just go now. I think this is fine. Really quickly, check out the actions again. Yeah, if you're checking out this game for the first time, this is a fascinating sort of hybrid between an XCOM tactical game as well as a like Darkest Dungeon camp stress management game. And I'm really digging the balance of the two. It's quite fun. All right, let's feed... We feed everybody. I get a dodge bonus on these two, which is also kind of good. Yeah, let's just do that. It's interesting that they call it a dodge bonus on this screen, but they call it defense elsewhere. Less loose present here, less loot, pardon me. That seems fine. Let's give one more med to Rose, our medic. Even distribution of grenades. Having 16 grenades probably means I'm not using grenades enough. Have a good one, happy pants. Thanks for hanging out. All right, we're finally starting the turn with a full party. Okay, we want to hit both of these. So it looks like our route is going to be up, down, whew, serpentine. Not a ton of cover, but that's fine. Oh, hey, there's loot literally right here. Never mind, there was nothing. <laughs> Uh, my brain finished starting the turn with turnering point one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to try and move 
a little bit quicker here. Because, um, getting tired of the super panic at the end, you know what I mean? I'm also curious why there's so many civilians in the sewers. Seems like it would be a bad idea. No panic, only calm. <laughs> What's up, SRAP? Medical supplies, shards. Yeah, I actually kind of love the mechanic of uh, you gotta hustle. Like, this is an XCOM. And I like that it's not, you know? Don't forget your towel. Don't make enough good uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy references these days. Thank you for that. Oh. Oh. It's <clears throat> a lot of rats. Is this an XCOM like? It is a tactical RPG <clears throat> that has Overwatch and cover, which is a couple of things that I'd say are pretty definitive of XCOM games, you know? <laughs> Gotta get the meld. All right, so let's find the ones with guns and shoot them first. It's a 95% chance to hit. That was a low roll on the damage. Or did I miss? Nice. So if I shoot the ones with guns, can't do that. It's really hoping to get up close and um, it's really hoping to get up close and use my sword overwatch. Blade watch? What would you call that? <clears throat> Whatever, let's just all overwatch. You read a Douglas Adams biography recently? Wild dude. What did Douglas Adams get up to? The game misses 95% shots. The high, the closer to 100 a shot gets, the more likely you are to miss. Is what I learned from playing XCOM. There's only one guarantee, and that is you are never more likely to miss a shot than when it's a 99%. We, last time I did an XCOM playthrough, we actually had a high score where we were keeping track of the highest percentage shot I missed. It was very disheartening. Douglas Adams traveled the world seeking out endangered species to encounter and film. Really? Okay, so that completely brought blocks line of sight, eh? It's kind of interesting. All right, move forward, get shot. Or don't, you know, that's fine too. God, the damage range on that gun is killing me. I mean, this is actually fine. I'm guaranteed to dodge a shot, so whatever. 32% chance on that one. I mean...
So what I want to try and do is pull them out of cover, maybe. I can't see them from there. They can't see me either. All right, move. There we go. Got him. Good stuff. Due to a rounding error in the display, it's possible to miss a 100% shot. I thought there was a clips of... Wasn't... All right, SRAP, help me out here. Didn't Jorbs stream Phoenix Point and actually miss a 100% shot or something like that? Am I, am I remembering that correctly or no? There's like a point blank shot. And when it went to the animation, they did like a 180 and shot in the other direction. He's just like, hold on, what? Or did I make that up? I could have made that up. All right, I want to hit this and this and then get out. Need to be moving a little bit faster here. Do you enjoy the XCOM but not genre? I dropped a game in the stream suggestion channel. Oh, thank you, James. around the corner found bad guys this is why i prefer the soft indication to hit honestly <laughs> it's still so bizarre to me that one of the best xcoms is mario versus rabbits like that game is better than it has any right to do seems more like an xcom one moment than phoenix point you did play the game and give up and discuss when you realize one mechanic requires you to constantly juggle your gear around in an unpleasant way yeah uh this is a lot of enemies I don't like this. There's a lot of enemies. Yeah, doesn't Mario vs. Rabbit have three stats? Like 0, 50, 50, and 100? Alright, let's do this. So I do... Alright, can I finally do anything cool here? No, I'll just die. Good talk. I really need my sword guy to do literally anything. saying boo you're scaring me fair so if i go here i have zero cover which is really unfortunate all right let's try and just finish these two off Thirty-eight percent chance that's unfortunate can i sha 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 you no i already used a wait they're supposed to automatically dodge the first attack every time that's not great Way. 
popping over from top eight coverage to check out on RadXCOM. Doing great muffins on a hill. Mario vs. Rabbits is an example of subverting one's expectations of a game quality. Because of it, it makes a better game due to the fact you're not expecting it to be that good. There we go. There we go. Oh. Oh god, I'm dying. So, like, that angle shouldn't be possible. I don't understand why that's possible. Okay, I need you to die. Okay. Ah! Uh -huh. Rats have wall hacks? When I kill them, do they all lose 2 HP? They don't. Very rude. What's the lore of this game? Uh, the lore of this game is the rats have attacked. And although we were at war with the rats, they caught us unaware. They haven't really established what the what the actual setting is. I've been asking if it's London. It kind of made sense that it was London to me, but like, who knows? Okay, more rats are appearing. This is very frustrating. Nice shot. I don't have armor shredding for this guy. The trailer said that the rats are aliens. Like that shot. That shot's garbage. <laughs> like, I just I, I I just cheated there. I think I can push forward here. chance to hit. There are mutant alien rats that completely make sense and clears everything up. Yeah. Sometimes with a video game, the why is less important than the what. You got, you just, I like to, I like to call it the rule of cool, you know? As long as Internally, something interesting is happening. It's probably good enough, you know? You can't reach from there, which is a little frustrating. But you can overwatch from there. Let's get you up to here eventually. No? All right. Never mind. Forget that. You know what? Let's maybe set up here next. Do I get cover if I do? Sure don't. What if I just hide here with my blade overwatch? You think that'll work? Actually, it's going to work great if these two push me. Can't help but notice that the enemies just won't stop coming. Whoa! Well, that's bad. Uh, that seems to be very bad, actually. Are we getting the meld? I'm trying! <laughs> Turns out these stupid enemies just won't stop spawning. It's very, it's very, very, very rude. Oh, 
Oh, adrenaline rush. You know what? Great. Take more meds. <laughs> uh, good. So, I do have guaranteed for them to miss the first shot. Whatever, let's just keep shooting. Okay, excellent. Everything is perfect. Let's let's trigger this Overwatch here. Ow! Brutal. Seventy-nine percent. Let's go. Fusion core. That's a big get. Okay, that's going to heal me. Oh, there's more rats here. Of course there's more rats. There's always more rats. Kind of what rats do. Two turns for this. There they are. God. I think you're immune to damage down there. I think. Start opening the door so we can extract. Nice shot. Jowl! <laughs> what did he shoot? What did he shout? <clears throat> That's very funny. Good stuff. Good turn. This won't stop coming, though. Oh, crap. That wasn't who I thought was moving. Oh, the low roll. Devastating. I have zero cover, huh? Don't mess with the medic. Nice shot. Oh, stop it. All right. Everybody's guns auto reload now. Shoot the one in Overwatch. That one. Nice shot. Nice shot. Alright, everyone, everyone just chill. For three turns, please. What did I just say? What did I just say? Feels like these rats have zero chill. One of the nice things about Overwatch is you don't tend to waste all of your bullets. 
right? Like, if one enemy runs through, all four don't just try and murder it in one spree, which is kind of great. Kind of a big fan of that. So in theory, oh, it's my last turn. No, this is. I was gonna say in theory, maybe I could run around and try to loot a little bit more, but this is this is fine. So many of them. All right, let's get out of here. For a second, I was worried I hit the wrong button. Freaked me out. All right, GG. What if there's like a grappling hook or jetpack later on? That'd be kind of cool. All right, we got some level ups. Gunter has reached level four. What does this do? Plus two damage to everything. I mean, that seems way better than leveling up pistol. If I get this for free every turn. Yeah. Um, I want to do improved overwatch. Automatically enter overwatch if you only move this turn. You get one free shot. That's so strong. That's absurd. Two charges? Overwatch shots don't have an aim penalty. I... Okay. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I'm going to keep taking toughness here. It just seems so much stronger than everything else I'm doing. Every character receives a free action that increases their movement range by two for the current turn. It's going to be used one per combat. I mean, maybe that's more useful than one extra HP. No, I think I just want to max out HP as soon as possible. Action economy, yeah. I mean, free Overwatch is absurd. Talk about action economy too, right? Because now we can full move, scout as much as possible, and not leave ourselves really vulnerable. And one of the main things that was kind of punishing us this whole time was the inability to sort of really push aggressively and sort of scout ahead so you don't accidentally activate a pod and then get bopped, you know? All right. Let's really quickly, got 15 points here. That stress. We can give the old soldiers advice. Everyone's stress is gone. Awesome. Some first aid here. I've got, only got six. Actually, let's search first. Four medical supplies, nice. Search old crates. Two more. Incredible. Basically never didn't have it. Eight points remaining. Salvage some more medical supplies. <laughs> uh, give myself plus two damage to everything. Oh yeah, my action points are absurd right now. For the whole like Darkest Dungeon camp side here. And I'm out, right? I'm actually out of actions to take at this point. Which is wild to think of. So I've been trying to take skills that use more points here. Run would have been great during that explosive mission. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's upgrade some guns here. And I feel as though it needs to be damage. <sighs> Who's been underwhelming with damage? I think my sniper. 
I think my sniper just isn't hitting hard enough. So an extra point in damage there. Bring us up to four to six. Oh, do I have the ability to add armor shred yet? An armor pierce? I can't armor shred. Armor shred. There we go. You know what? Let's take armor shred here and armor pierce here. There we go. That's the equivalent of more damage. Was that one hit two to seven? Yeah, the damage spread on this gun, three to six. Uh, so when you're in range of the support mode, it gives you a maximum damage boost, not a like overall damage boost. So it makes the range on our, on Mycroft's gun huge. One to four, three to five, one to six. Great, great. All right, 14 grenades, that's lots. Seven stim packs, it's getting a little bit lower. Probably still fine. Uh, once we use food, everyone will be at max HP. I don't know if that's good because your min damage is still low. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't bragging about that particular one. Just kind of pointing out that the the range is higher and higher. Just simply high roll forehead. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's keep moving. I'm going to save one food just in case. I think the food is more important than 10 dodge. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Always crit and simply high roll. I don't see what the problem is. Yeah, Serge's top two tips to be good at video games like him. <laughs> simply never miss and always crit. All right. So we can go here, longer distance, take more time to reach the exit. Don't love that, but there's also a special encounter with an extra reward. Or... Oh, right, I guess the extra resting does give you a crit chance. Yo, thank you, Sammy Logan. I technically just wasted that. Yeah, simply add the streamer underscore mode into the game's I and I file. No, you're, you're right, Sammy Logan. I was just throwing away stuff. I don't love what they're offering me here. I mean, if it's weapon upgrades, maybe I do. Takes longer and there's a special reward. I mean, why not? Let's do it. Seems like a pretty good distribution here. Let's give the medic two, uh, two stim packs. <clears throat> Yeah, I forgot that rest gives a crit boost. All right, hold on. We're looking for the setting of the game. The map uses the word capital with an O, which is an exclusively American word referring to various legislatures. It is not equivalent to a capital. Therefore, I conclude the game is set in either DC or a US state capital. That's interesting to me because this game has like a very English aesthetic. That, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. I look at the aesthetic of this game and I think to myself, ah, good old, jolly old England. That's kind of neat. All right, which way do we want to go here? I could split. I could do two and two. Want to get there. Want to get there. So I think we stay on the low ground, head through here. There's the exit. Now, where's the special event? The special event is probably this door. Now, 
Many East Coast states have an aesthetic in their state capitals due to colonial times. I mean, that's fair. It could also be <laughs> that the devs just don't know what the word capital with an O means. No, you know, you know, yield capital, Arclight. So let's bring you there. Now, if I loot for the turn, I don't know if I get the auto overwatch. I also haven't seen people go into overwatch at the end of the turn either. Hold on. Automatically enter overwatch if you only moved this turn. Is that per character or for my entire team? Found them. That's not good. No searching? Yeah, but it looks like it's not... Oof. It looks like it's at the team level, not the individual level. Oh, it's just for the character. Oh! I understand. Can I get to here without dying? No, I don't think I I don't think I can. What's up, kitty? How do I How do I do this? Enemies always miss their first attack on you on their turn. Capital specifically is about the building in which they meet. Capital, with an A, is the seat of government. Huh. So, I want to hit them with a grenade. If I get to here, I don't trigger Overwatch. Oh, their overwatch was removed. Sick. Alright, so this should end her turn in overwatch. So you've got that armor. Oh my god, they took so much damage from that. Can I get in there and give them the old shing? No, I can't. But I should be able to run up and just do this now. Not bad for an old timer. Good job. All right, now they run forward and they get shot by the pistol. Come on. Gah! <laughs> you know what I never get to do? I never get to stab people. Shing! There we go. Now I feel better. Where we're going, we don't need cover. Yeah. Hey, I mean, all right. I thought, I actually thought that was not a bad use of that time with the shred. Mind you, I didn't think, I didn't think they just stand there and shoot me in my defense, right? Who does that anyways? All right, so she's got this free overwatch. Let's run forward. So we discover here. But there's goods behind this. All right, so now... Investigate. Okay. Let's keep moving. Wait. Wait. Oh, that's a body. I thought that was maybe a living person. I was excited for a second. Well, yeah. 
show up from here. Investigate door. Two separate impulses at once. Okay. Here. It's doable. Let's try it. Activate with the human character. Oh, activate with the drone. Yeah, so blue is drone only. So what are the chances we open this door and rats flood out of it, you know? Hundred percent. Hey! No rats! Oh god, there's rats! <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, uh huh. Someone please clip that. <laughs> I need that one to explode. Okay. Oh, is that a rat assassin? It is. It's got a knife. Oh. Very good, Miss Jennings. All right, let's get the goods. Let's get the goods and let's get out of here. So I think what I actually want to do, and this is going to be me learning from my past mistakes, is I actually want to continue to move forward. Like normally I try and set up here, make them push towards me, but I'm actually going to fall back and continue to try and move while setting up Overwatch. Morning, Raincoast Bear. You can take a shot, can you? Oh, you don't have any bullets. What's up, Teen Troll OG? Are the rats behaving? Oh, terribly. It's like they have no manners. Thank you for clipping that, kits. Shing! Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a large one. I, I remember... Oh, that was both my actions. Oh my god, how am I so bad at this game? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, I, they always miss their first attack. <laughs> and 
enemies always miss their first attack on you. Look, either I'm misunderstanding something or or they're hacking. My assumption is they're cheating. Maybe it's something I have to do. No, it's a it's a passive. It says passive. Passive. Hello. Please get shot. Please get shot again. Alright, so now we have armor piercing. So in theory, I should be able to kill this. Alright, let's get out of here. So I need to get into here next. My one interpretation of maybe how I'm misunderstanding that is what if it's it counts all enemies like it's reading that one of the things you can read it as is every enemy is guaranteed to miss their first attack on you right whereas what it could be is you only dodge the first attack in an entire round so hold on hold on how how did you not spot them Okay, I'm sorry. I'm in trouble again. Everything is falling apart. We just went through this. <laughs> I've, I've learned nothing. Oh. This is a rather significant problem, if I'm honest. Let me shoot at the 0% chance enemy. I think it did. Which I'm not pleased about. Here for the peanut gallery. While you're doing grindy stuff in Minecraft, I respect that. gonna trigger overwatch that's bad I mean we just do this instead if I hit you the overwatch goes away 
Oh my god, what a shot. <laughs> she can't miss. Nice. You know what? Nice. You need bullets. So if I move here first, that automatically reloads you. Love it. Love to see it. All right. Let's get you to the machine now. Some good stuff there. Wow. Alright, now I want to get there. This is a long level. Holy moly. I want to get there and then we want to get out. So let's start trying to move a little bit quicker here. Crap. <laughs> So, like, I'm going to be honest, part of me was like, don't run all the way around the corner, Surge. Just don't do it. Have I ever done any kind of game design or game development? I mean, the closest thing I've ever done to something like that is um, I hung out with some open hacks. You know, when people do uh, open hack, that's the wrong word. Uh, game jams. I've done game jams. I guess kind of counts, right? All right, let's... Yeah. Let's see what happens here. So as long as they don't get too close to me... This is very awkward. Okay, now luckily... Good lord. No, 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 no. What did I click? Okay. Um. Shred? Shred. I mean, 50-50, free shot. But yeah, not game designer, game development. I mean, I worked in software development for a number of years as a, as a project manager, which was, you know, kind of neat. Ow! Nice 
shot. Had flashback to two thirds, two, three years ago when Jiren task planning was the mainstay discussion subject. Yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of happy that I don't work in tech enough that that is something that we talk about all the time because, you know, sometimes it's nice to do other things. <laughs> uh, I think this one's more dangerous. Last thing I want to do is get poisoned. I go here, 68%, 63%, and stay in cover. I mean, we still make PM jokes every now and then. Uh, gently Stipe, or Stipe, you don't have to at me for stuff. Chat's moving slow enough. I read every message. Eighty-eight percent. If I stand here, okay. Shoot, no. That was my game jam experience. It was fine. My buddy Andrew hosted it. I made a text-based adventure game using Twine. I mean, that was years ago, right? Like, I think that would have been, God, seven years ago, something like that. I was trying really hard to get into the tech industry, and so I was basically trying to get experience any way I could and like making stuff and meeting people and just being part of communities and stuff like that. So it's pretty fascinating. But like, I've never been a developer. Please don't read this message. No, you don't get to tell me what to do. <laughs> I read all. I read all. made a wall here. Do you reply all to? I used to. I used to read and respond to every single message in chat, which was like kind of fun. Um, but then I found that sometimes I engaged with messages that I don't want to necessarily made me sad, but just didn't like, just didn't have good vibes. You know what I mean? And it's not to say that like, if I ignore your message, it's because I don't know. I didn't think you were good people or something like that. But sometimes it's just like I was making my myself frantic, if that makes sense. And um, this is something I've talked about on, on stream and on Zero Mount. Not wanting to like multi-thread conversations is the best way I can describe that. Where I have like conversation A and then conversation B and then go back to A. I just feel it. it it's very frantic. Don't feel bad if Serge ignores your message. He ignores me all the time. Well, that's different. You know what you did. All right. So let's go here and let's repair stuff. You can rail the train of the thought to responding to everything. That's that's what I mean when I talk about like a multi-threaded conversation. It's just like it feels like it's all over the place. I don't feel like I'm giving a I don't feel like I'm putting on a cohesive show at that point, if that makes sense. Because, like, at the end of the day, this is a show. This is supposed to be entertaining. And obviously, like, you know, chatting to people and catching up and all of that is great. But, like, is that what makes for the best show? Makes for the best product? All right, we're still charging. Let's use this opportunity. Um, I should pop around the corner here and see if there's any more rats. Yeah, I should keep moving forward. I shouldn't just sit here. It's not possible to respond to every comment. I used to try. I'd have, I mean, I'd have relatively similar numbers to now. Probably a little bit slower because we're talking about a couple years ago. But I would honestly try and respond to every single comment that was in chat. From like backseaters to random questions to people being like, play Fortnite. And be like, dog. Like, <laughs> uh, depends on the number of active chatters too. Yeah. There we go. Play Freebird. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh my god. Thank you for 62 months of support, friend. Really appreciate that. 
Maybe more than two or three years ago, considering this sub is now over five years. Yeah. All right, so here's the plan. Let's get you set up here. Almost certainly going to get attacked. Can I reach there in one? Uh, with you? I can't. With you? Yeah, there we go. How old is Snurgebot at this point? I mean, can't we do exclamation Snurge? Because I can click how long it's been following the channel. I don't know if that's something like all accounts can do. All right, welcome. All right, so Snurge. Snurge has been subbed for 28 months. Account created January 11th, 2021. There you go. January 11th, 2021 matches your first commit date as well. Amazing. I mean, if we're talking on the strategy, pardon me, if we're talking on the topic of streaming and streaming strategy and stuff like that, I've actually been contemplating. Um, there's a creator named Loco and she's created a bunch of like fascinating services and stuff like that. I don't know. I was almost contemplating paying for her services like professional coaching and maybe some insider auditing as to what I do in my channel. I don't know. People always want to do better. I can write it off as a business expense. I'm always trying to ask myself what I can do. Make this... Make this a better experience for everybody, you know? So coming out of this with six upgrade parts is kind of huge. Like, considering we got zero on one map not too long ago, six is a very big deal. Wow, Rose, most kills, most looted. Go Medic, holy moly. All right, my Croft, level five now. So more random stuff. Kind of tempted, kind of tempted to make him a little bit tankier, considering how many times he got shot last time. I like both of these, but yeah, I think it might just be armor. All right. I'm going to put more points into just sword now. I was a little bit disappointed when I got up and close and up close and personal with the sword that it uh, didn't do a lot, you know? Some there. All right, team points. Where are we going? I think it might be time for run now. Remaining action points, 12. Let's have a little propaganda talk here. Glory of the Empire will prevail. Wow, you took so much damage. You have one HP? Yeah, plus four crit chance from rested. Hmm. 
All right, uh, search old stash. Plus two medical supplies, okay. Old soldier's advice. Oh, there's two things I can search this time. Found nothing, never mind. Bonus medical supplies. Let's click on the doctor here. Salvage bandages. 16, amazing. We took enough damage there that maybe the heal for four instead of three would have been kind of good, but I don't know. Yeah, we'd be at max HP there. Something to consider for next time. All right, weapon upgrades. I want to put another point of armor shredding on this. I think that's going to be your main job, is just armor shredding. Let's go to our sniper. Oh my love, oh my god, is it lunchtime already? Simply don't take damage forehead. I've proven to be incapable of thinking ahead. <laughs> I just keep running around the corner being like, hey, what's up, guy? Oh god. Which, in hindsight, is a... Um, it's a bold play. Let's see how that works for him. I think I just need to put extra damage on everybody here. All right, what else can I do? I can continue to heal self. All right, I can do the damage boosty here. To be fair, it makes for an extremely compelling stream. Thank you. Oh, right, the self repair module. So this is what we're talking about. I've got five more points to do. So I can just keep resting, right? So like rest. Yeah. I mean, let's just go back to the sniper. Wait, no, you've got, you got good stuff there. Yeah. 12% crit chance. That seems quite good. Seems quite, quite good. Um, all right, here's what we're going to do. Let's distribute some food. We've got enough to give everybody a little bit. I think we're only going to do the three, though. Uh, you know what? No, 10% dodge chance. We're about to go to a pretty scary fight. But before we start that fight, um, Joe brought me lunch. It was kind of exciting. One last snurge fact. The first version, which only posted periodically, took under 12 hours to build. Because I had a Markov chain system lying around from another bot. Heck yeah. You reach the bridge and encounter what remains to be the local garrison. We've heard the escape tunnels and the Empress's Palace are still open, the soldier says. We'll make our way there in a moment before this bridge gets overrun by vermin. But wait. Oh no! The rats are already here! Alright. <laughs> so let's go ahead and save and exit to desktop here. Alright, give me one second. I'm going to go to the booth. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to pee. And then uh, let's hang out and have some lunch. So here's the plan. We're going to chill. We're going to chat for like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So consider a lunch topic. And I'll be right back.
Hello. Welcome to lunch. Today's lunch, mac and cheese. Delicious. Probably not nutritious, but you know, I'm happy. All right, I'll start with the story time and then we can uh, figure some stuff after that. So bathroom sink update. So yesterday I ended the day a little bit early so I could go and repair my sink drain, which was, um, there's like a little piece of metal that goes up and down. And when you pull it, it has like a lever. So when you pull it, it levers down and it seals the drain. When you push it, it goes up. You know what I mean? So this lever rusted and snapped in half. And I thought to myself, I could probably fix that. So we went to the hardware store. Uh, they didn't have the part. So <laughs> there's one of two scenarios. Scenario one is it's a super common part that you can find literally everywhere and you can replace. Scenario two, it's an art uh, artisanal bespoke, extremely hard to find part. It was the second, which is kind of frustrating. So we get to this like fancy plumber store, a supply store, and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't sell the, we don't sell the replacement lever you need, uh, but we can replace the entire like sink. So picture, picture like this is the sink. And then there's uh, the pipe that drains the drain at the bottom of it. And then there's this whole like mechanical assembly that exists in between. And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's actually super easy to replace. You just like get a dissolver, um, melt down the solvent in there and you get underneath and you grab a grip wrench. You know what a grip wrench is? I'm like trying to like nod along and like picture this whole thing in your head. Yeah, you unscrew this and the whole thing pops back out. And then you take uh, like the, the black pipe and he's like, you're talking, he's talking, talking. I'm just like trying so hard to go on. And then, and then I, I don't know what possessed me at this. I was like, sorry, I have a donut at home. And the guy's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I have a donut at home. And all I'm emotionally prepared to do today is go home and eat my donut. I... <laughs> and anyways, there's this girl on the other side of the... There's a girl at the other side of the hardware store who just like bursts out laughing <laughs> hearing that. And I'm like, I like, I don't have it in me to learn how to like dissolve and like recock and install this whole, like, I, I, that's not me right now, my dude. And I appreciate you taking the time and explaining to me how simple it would be to do this whole thing. But like, that's not where I'm at. So... He stops trying to upsell me on this other complete drain thing. And what I have to do, and this isn't too bad. It was, um, instead of being 12 bucks just for the lever part, it was $25 for the entire replacement thing, but they had the one part that we need. So I ended up getting the part that I needed. It cost me twice what it otherwise would, but like 25 bucks to fix it. And I got to make somebody laugh. So, so there you go. <laughs> And I got to eat a donut, most importantly. We came home. We made a coffee. I ate a donut. I took a 45-minute nap. That allowed me to build up the... <laughs> the momentum necessary to conquer the bathroom drain. Repaired it. Everything is perfect. Didn't have to bug anybody. Didn't have to call anybody. And then we watched the D&D movie and it was really good. Yeah, God. Just trying to think of like how much of a hassle it would have been for plumber stuff. That's the same part that broke on your sink recently. We're like, now nah, we'll just get one of those mesh catcher thingies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if I'd like the mesh pluggy thingy for the bathroom. Like, those are super common in kitchens, you know? The irony is, we don't ever really, like, stop and fill the bathroom sink. 
So we went through all this effort to fix it just because it was broken, not because we used it? I don't know. Your sink doesn't even have a plug? Yeah, fair, right? It's gross how much toothpick spit those things catch. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely mental image. I don't know. What up with all of you? How's your weekend going? Hmm. Have you seen the trailer for Dune 2 yet? I'm actually kind of hyped for that. I really enjoyed the first Dunk movie. I mean, sorry, third or whatever, however you want to count it. The new modern part one, Timothy Chalamet Dune movie. It's the third Dune movie, but the first Dunk movie, fair. Yeah, there was the BBC TV series, which I heard was actually pretty good. And then the two movies, one with Sting and one directed by, oh God, what's his name? Or was that one, was that the Sting one as well? I can't remember. I know, a couple of interesting movies came out. I've heard really good things about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Right, 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 the David Lynch one. That's the name I was struggling with. Thank you, Sunrise. Wasn't there another MCU movie that just came out? There was Guardians of the Galaxy. And one that I'm completely, completely missing on. It's Dunk, because Dunk in Idaho is the secret main character. Yeah, totally. Need to see the D&D &D movie. It looks so good. It was so good, kids. When the D&D &D movie ended, and actually the entire time throughout, I just had the biggest, dumbest grin on my face. I was talking about this a little bit earlier today. The thing I loved about the D&D &D movie is it was just fun. It was fun and it was campy. And I feel that's something that's missing in a lot of D&D &D media is for whatever reason, they're like, ah, in order for us to get taken seriously, we have to be like, Grim dark and like burr and like no, it can just be dumb and fun. I still need to see John Wick 4. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the John Wick franchise. Oh Kinu. Oh Kinu. Did I catch the Easter egg from the cartoon series? I'm gonna need more context, Desert. Which cartoon series? Which Easter egg? But like watching a real D&D &D campaign, it's a very little thing that they did in the D&D &D movie that I really enjoyed is it wasn't a movie about the destination or, part of, or like about the journey, right? So you have a lot of these grand fantasy movies and they have these long montage scenes of people walking and like trekking through mud. And you're like, oh, look how majestic it is. Look at the fact that they're on this journey instead for the DD &D movie they'd be like okay we're there okay we're there like a campaign right you're like uh are you all prepared for the trip the dm is like all right you got you guys are good and the party's like yeah we're good and the dm's like okay so you're down in the caves right and you're like yeah i love that i love that and as the audience you can follow i don't know every movie's wanted to be lord of the rings uh, yeah i mean don't get me wrong because like Willow, the Willow TV show and the Willow movie is the same thing too. Like very much it was about the people on the journey and the trials of the journey and stuff like that. And that's cool.
Can't wait for another D&D movie where there's like a goblin, a fur bulg, two tieflings, and a flump. I'm pretty sure you made at least two of those up. Did I see the magic standard news? No, I'm, I'm... It's really funny for... What I do is my other job. I am very out of the loop with most big magic stuff. The only the only format I really care about is Canadian Highlander. And uh, I try not to be part of magic discourse online because it often just makes me sad. But I hope that makes you happy. I hope the standard changes are awesome for the standard players. I'm like, I don't want to throw shade at that at all or be dismissive. It's just like... I think I sold out... I stopped playing standard in like Scars of Mirrodin. <laughs> That was the... I've been pretty happy. No, don't apologize for bringing it up. I'm glad you're happy, Mormon. That's awesome. The cartoon series from the 80s. The other group in the maze matches the group from the 80s. Oh, that's an Easter. That's a fun little Easter egg. Okay. So Desert DBA was asking earlier, did you catch the car the that's a that's a very subtle Easter egg. So there's a DD &D cartoon series from the 80s, and the maze scene matches those groups. That's so niche. I love that there's people who that is like laser targeted for. I would never get that in a million years. <laughs> there's no chance I would ever pick up on that. That's wild. It has been mentioned before that's a little weird that Surge is mostly known for his magic content does so little magic content on his stream. Yeah. Yeah, we have talked about how that's weird. I don't know. I don't know how to reconcile that. I made a very conscious decision when I started this stream, this channel five years ago. I could have just been a magic creator. Like, it, I thought about it. I'm like, what if I just streamed magic all the time? And for whatever reason, that made my brain kind of sad. I was like, let's just do something completely different. You don't mind? Yeah. I wonder how much the channel... I mean, so here's the thing. Creators typically shine when they make one very simple, consistent product. And variety streamers who succeed are able to find one very simple piece of product even through the variety content they do. Uh, Splatter Cat Gaming, for example, right? Great example of somebody who's just like, hey, I'm going to review indie games. Bam. People are like, yeah, I'm there for it. That's solid. Uh, have I done myself a disservice? Possibly, right? I probably could be a bigger creator. I just did magic. I mean, look at Wheeler, for example, right? His Velocite doing great. Am I happier having some more variety in my life? Probably. I am, um, I'm not the type of person, I mean, I look at somebody like Kenji, right? Who has played Magic six days a week, six to seven days a week, every day, for what, nine years? And I just like, how? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, I do not understand for a second how that works. And so I think having my, my personal channel just be whatever it is, has been um, awesome. You think of me as a gamer who happens to play Magic, but that's just me? No, awesome. Thank you. How many hours do you think I've put into Magic compared to Minecraft at this point? God. It's hard to count, right? Because, like... I've been playing Magic since, like, 95, on and off. And... I've only really been playing Minecraft since 1.12 maybe six years, but uh, I started doing Minecraft as a job. I mean, that's not to say that I haven't done ma magic as a job either. It's hard. It's impossible to tell. There's like two different, completely different scales of math. It's actually that question of like, so a train leaves the station A, traveling at X kilometers per hour, and train B leaves station Z at, right? And you're like, uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Yeah.
Never would have found you if you only did magic. When I found you, I was searching for cozy Minecraft streamers. That's kind of cool. Honestly, it's very flattering to... It's very flattering the number of people who have found this channel not through Lonely Ready Run or through Desert Bus. Which is... And maybe this is actually where the home stream and not doing magic came from was... Obviously, um... Rising waters raises all ships. So, like, as Lur has gotten bigger, as the magic work I've done there, obviously it's helped the home channel because people will come and watch me here, which is very, very, very flattering. But it also feels like anything that I have done just on this channel and to grow the channel by itself feels like more of a personal accomplishment, which is neat. And so the point of that is to say, I, in no way do I want to discredit the work that I've done in other places. But, like... Every new viewer who has come to here just through my own work, and then maybe who I've been able to introduce to Loading Ready Runner or lo introduce to Desert Bus, that's cool. That's really special, you know? I don't know. Random Minecraft question. Last week I set up a monster compactor for bone meal and zombie flesh, but now that I have five double chests full of arrows, before I toss them into lava, any good or subpar uses for a ridiculous number of arrows and just Maybe make a, an arrow trap. Uh, short answer, no, unless you want to get really creative. Definitely found you through Learn Magic, but the chill vibes made me want to stay. Well, thank you. It's like comparing apples to chickens. The percentage of magic that's actually playing the game is smaller than other aspects. Deck building research and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the amount of work that goes into uh, a recording in North 100 Showdown, for example, is wild <laughs> like if you include editing and stuff like that people are like oh why is it only 45 minutes every two weeks and you're like dog <laughs> you're looking at like 20 hours of work across three to four people to make that 45 minute episode but i digress anyways thanks for these conversations i appreciate this I'm going to very quickly wash my hands because I've got some fachacha on it. And then uh, let's get back to the video game. Be right back. Hello! There is no longer sufficient disk space to continue this recording. Crap. That's bad. Welcome to emergency disk management. I'll probably just download. I mean, this is for the VODs for Joe to upload on stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> another job for Matt. We could stitch together. Or we could just download the VOD, sweetie. We'll just download the VOD. Hit the break screen, make a space, and then come on back. Nah, nah, nah. It's fine. It's fine. I should have been more proactive on grabbing stuff. We'll just download it in one. Can you download more RAM? It's not a RAM issue. It was literally my... I just cleared a bunch of space up, but I have a another hard drive here that all the stream VODs go into. And it was getting written right there, and then it just got full because I wasn't paying attention. So I um, I just deleted everything from February. I typically try and keep all of the previous month, but yeah, I've also got March in here. I don't need March too. But yeah, check this out. All right, there's all of the VODs from March. They're like 15 gigs each. I've selected 300 gigs worth of stuff. Now, boop, and now, how much room in this hard drive? <laughs> I, I just cleared up 400 gigs. <laughs> Goodbye, March VODs. 
Uh. All right, let's get back to the game. Hey, kind of tempted to buy a new computer. Should I buy a new computer? James bought a new computer and I'm jealous that I don't have a new computer. I will never find out what happened in March. I'm sorry, the all red, you're right. No one with good cases. It's true. I could I could message Fractal and be like, hello. Do I need it? So it's better to be proactive with getting a new computer when this is your job instead of wanting to stream a new game, trying to stream it, and then having everything fall apart. If that makes sense. So we're gonna get attacked from both sides. <clears throat> we just we all we all know this, right? So let's go here. Let's set up. And let's move to behind cover. And let them come to us. <clears throat> Is it something you now or something you can wait for a bit? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have a good answer yet. Make sure you don't buy the components and let them just sit there and not be built for ages and ages and ages. Yeah, that's not the way I roll. Hello, large friends. <clears throat> Yo, oh my god, Chrono! Chrono! Dang, friend, thank you for the $20 computer fund. It's very thoughtful. All right, I wanna try and shred this one even though it's a 50% chance. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll leave it. <clears throat> Take the 90% shot. Looking at your listed specs, you could probably save money and get a new CPU and MOBO and your GPU is probably fine. Yeah, I've got a 3070. So the issue is, um, the issue is, that's such an odd way to phrase it. If I... If I get a brand new everything, my reason for this, if I get a brand new everything, I could possibly just pass a whole computer off to Joe. And like Joe's been having some issues too, right? Like we just do a whole lateral shift or everything. Honestly, I'd wait. The recent, the new recent stuff isn't all that exciting. The experts are finding some very concerning flaws. Oh, that's not good. I don't like flaws. But yeah, Mogs. Like again, my computer's pretty good, but my computer is also approaching two years old, right? So I'm right here. Could I grenade them? I don't even know. Trying to grab some of this loot while uh, while I've got them busy. Kill the plague bear. Nice shot. What if we just simply <laughs> got Joe a new computer? Oh, I like the way you think. No. <laughs> well, this is awkward. <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. So if I got here, shing, and I grabbed this, and then I went and I hid. What would happen? <clears throat> Chrono, I really do appreciate that, friend. That's very generous. No, not a grenade. 
My only weakness. Shot. Alright, so if you bunker down. Okay, this opens in two turns, and last time I had to go this way, but maybe it's gonna be different. I don't know, we'll see. Can you maybe move forward? You know? No? You're just gonna you're just gonna keep sitting there? Not move forward? Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm okay. Let's grab this loot. going to assume I'm going to be attacked from this side this time. All right, vent's going to open in one turn, and then I twist this knob, right? Evacuation shaft is opened. Let's get out of here. Oh, right. Crap. Oh, crap. I forgot that... I forgot that I actually have to go stand on it to activate the next thing. Okay, I've made mistakes. Mistakes. I've made a few. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. Pew, boo, boo, boo. Wait. Oh, crap. Hello. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, my thought... Sorry, I see chat's talking about Vaseline right now. My assumption with all these Vaseline conversations... Open the shaft! Is that it would have had to do with uh, Beejlander. Barcode of Vaseline. Oh no! How do we open the door? Okay, it's literally the same as last time. Oh, look, we can leave. <laughs> All right. Um, I should probably move this forward. Can I get a grenade? No. So, like, I'm gonna get hit, but this is also kind of cool. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I could leave. <laughs> oh, I, I, bye! I could just get out. Fascinating. You can end your turn manually since we're up top there. So we'll see. If he gets enough, if he takes enough damage that he looks like he's gonna die, we'll just peace out. Oh, there's so many of them! Oh, the armor. Let's go. This is gonna shred me. Okay, this is a um, what we like to call a significant issue. We're fine. We're fine, chat. Alright, maybe maybe becoming slightly less fine. Ah, the poison sprayers. Good job. 
Good job, little buddy. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that as well. Good. HP. Sorry, I'm okay. I right, think I can get out next turn. I think. You can get out, you can get out, you can get out. Loot. Leave. Loot. Leave. Loot. Leave. It's hoping to see if one person can maybe reach that too and get out, but looks like they can't. All right, GG. Good stuff. Wow, this game's a lot easier when you have four people in your party. <laughs> You enter the military evacuation shaft leading to the northern part of the capital. You are now aware that the city has been harder than you originally thought. Good news is the palace isn't too far away. End of chapter one. Uh, Gunter and Rose have both leveled up. We're gonna go meet the Rat King. I hope so. Still think this is just better. All right, so Rose. We could upgrade. I'm a little bit disappointed that her Overwatch is only for her, but that's fine. Two free Overwatches, that's kind of great. Savage for bandages, it's also kind of great. Um, I think I just want to put more points into improved Overwatch though. Maybe we just upgrade her gun and turn her into some kind of god of death. Oh, right. I want to take uh, first aid training. And I have so many hit points. Talked about that last time. All right. Welcome to Act 2. We died immediately <laughs> in Act 2 last time. We got to Act 2 and just got flattened. All right. Anyways, for starters, let's have a little bit of propaganda as a treat. And then this old soldier is going to give us some advice. Look at that. All my stress is already gone. Good stuff. All right. Now let's loot. Search the old stashes. Wow. That's some good stuff. Uh, let's search for some medical stuff. All right. So one heal here. Uh, two heals here. Actually, don't think upgrading our first aid did anything math-wise that time. Technically, we managed to full heal, or otherwise we couldn't have the previous time, but I 
I don't know if that makes a huge difference. All right. Search. Plus one food. Search. Plus two medical supplies. That's good stuff. Energy cell tuning. And <laughs> suddenly we're already out of stuff. All right. Wait, what's this? Restore armor. Oh, okay. Five points left. Wow. All right. Let's give you two points of crit. Everyone else can have one point of crit. So once again, I've been kind of underwhelmed with um, melee in this game. And it's probably a me problem, but I just haven't been able to effectively position them ever. Right? I've never really felt like the melee character is strong or is really popping off or holding their ground compared to the combination I have of just Overwatch next to a support unit. I wonder if I tried an all melee squad if it would work better. Just my positioning would be different. It's just like the strategy I have that is working is just so much stronger than everything else. So. And give everybody a dodge chance here. All right. All vermin are now tougher. Hate that for me. Deadlier enemies, but a special encounter with bonus rewards. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. We'll take that and we'll go here. Yeah, so so far it feels like I have three and a half people. Oh, it'd be cool to see if I, I could actually track, like, kill stats and stuff like that. To really be able to, like, statistically see who's carrying their weight or not. Feels like Mycroft is doing the vast majority of the heavy lifting. Yeah, this is where we died last time. Remember, we got mega overwhelmed here. So, this time, let's just try and move real fast. So we don't want to go down into there. That was actually a mistake. I want to stay low but book it to there. Are we going to go meet the Rat King in the palace? I hope so. Kind of disappointing if after all of this work, we didn't even get to meet the Mad King. The Mad King, the Rat King. There was no audience, you know? Search here. Brasswallow Street absolutely sounds like somewhere in London. Yeah, a lot of the other names that we're getting here too also feel very... Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Oh, did I comment on your comment twice? <laughs> Made a good joke, Square Doc Cube. Done good. So if I remember correctly, they came from like here last time. I remember from here or from that side. I think eventually both actually. Stop here and loot. Not yet, huh? Okay, all right. All 
Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, God! Not like this! This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I can't help but notice that Surge only thinks things are fine when they're in fact not fine. I think there are causes for that. That's that free improved um, Overwatch BT dubs. So this is exactly what happened last time, right? Like we just got mega overwhelmed basically immediately. Like look at this! strong enough to kill. <laughs> hey, crit. Okay, that crit is huge. Why do I get to keep shooting? I need the Plague Bear to die. That's kind of a waste of a shot, though. We're still fine-ish. Honestly, those crits were really big for uh, some free extra actions. So there's like one move. I can't remember exactly how it works, but if you get um, four flanking shots, three or four flanking shots on a non-melee unit, This is a significant problem. Like... What? <laughs> I have to 
to shred this one. I have to. There we go. Ching! Try and move on. Right? Alright, how many new rats gets added every turn? So it doesn't look like any new rats so far. That's good, right? That armor's put in some work. So I, what I want to do is I want to try and move everybody. I want to take over this room so that I'm not being flanked, especially by this large lad. Oh, there goes my armor. If I go here, I get a nice shot there so I can shred that dude. That rat. Three damage. How dare you? I didn't... Four actions there, and I only killed two rats, which is probably not going to cut it. But you know, you never know. You never know, right? Are we dying in the same room as yesterday, NY Destroyer? Maybe. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. Okay, so there's one new rat over there. Don't love that. So like, I'm a little bit tempted to run outside and try and hit him with a fusion bomb. But I don't know how well that's going to do. Yeah, I can't bob around the corner, which is really awkward here. So like, that hits, it's four, which is not nothing. But like, also if I go here. So the problem is the grenades don't necessarily full kill. You know what I mean? And that's, that's tremendously problematic because, I mean, I guess two of these, let's see, let's, let's test it out. Oh, what if I just simply crit?
You fought tougher battles than this? Actually impossible. <laughs> That's just provably false. You know what it is? This dude's ability gives plus damage to everything. All right, there's my one use of untouchable, right? Six to eight damage. Yeah. Remember that boosty we gave him at the start? That applies to everything, including grenades. That's so busted. on that. My shot. If I get some crits here, I might be able to go a little bit longer. Bad start. Bad start. Terrible start. Got marked. Sniper got marked. Everyone's getting marked. That's a 25% chance to get hit easier, which is really bad. You have to hunker down to remove that. Oh, three bombers just showed up? <clears throat> like, what in the world? What is the next objective? We have to get there. I was kind of hoping I could fight them off a little bit here, but like... Crit. Oh. So I need to make a move. Like, where do I go? How do I, how do I do anything here? So if I run you to here, I get free overwatch. So I get two shots and maybe I could start to spread people out a little. Um, I think I take one shot here. Three to five damage. Yeah. Your grenades just do so much more. And I almost feel like I need to hunker down with you. No. I can't afford to. No actions left. Okay, you need you to move and to shoot. Or just two shots. Don't miss. Terrible shot. Do you have that score next to the trap? That's just a secondary objective. For now, I just want to live. All right, so hopefully we get some... All right, everyone's marked now. Goodness. Six damage? Sorry, I shouted. Shouted? I apologize. Actually, not bad for me. Hello. This is probably fine.
3 to 5 damage. Yeah, that ain't gonna do it. 8 to 10 damage. That might cause a chain reaction that kills both of those. Short 1 damage. Yeah, y'all, you might not make it. So if I can kill that one, 40% chance, can I hit it with a grenade? Yes. High roll. No, I low rolled. <laughs> my old man might die here, my geezer. Poison will get them. Poison, they heal in poison. Close call. No! Oh, I'm so lucky they didn't explode! <laughs> That's bad. How do you beat this level? Are you just gonna die? Oh, did you know? That's fine. Hi. <laughs> this is a dead, dead end. Okay, it's fine. Well, if I go like this. Are you poisoned? No. So you can you can run a little here. It's fine. You say dead end, I say choke point. But the rats are endless, right? Like, that's kind of the whole point of this game. Okay, that was actually really lucky. So I'm fairly certain there's a another pod on top of the exit as well. The strat may have been to just run rather than loot. Well, I mean, we didn't... We wanted to try and grab that. So that takes two turns to sit on, right? But yeah, there's only one character that can move and shoot. So, like, I don't even know mathematically what you're supposed to do in this particular case, right? Clear.
No, they're getting smarter. <laughs> they're gonna cut me off. Not like this. <laughs> so like, if all I do is move and shoot, I can't take a turn off to reload or heal. And that's the part that feels bad, right? Because that makes, that makes it go from being, like, challenging to impossible. there's any hope in me fighting this corner because like i've been full running for two full turns here hold on let's hold down alt let them move a little faster here Because, like, you need a full turn. You need a full turn to actually open the door if you want to get out, too. So, like, if I get to here, I think I have to fight here for a turn. I think I have to. I have one turn. One turn. Uh, you have full health, so you get here, you draw some fire, and you overwatch. This is maybe doable. Provided I don't provided everybody doesn't die right this second, I can get out next turn. It's really gonna depend on how this line of shooting goes. This is this is where it all comes down right now, is up at the top here. Why? Shoot him! He's out in the open! Shoot that one! Come on! Imagine if he didn't have a fusion core. Okay. Unlock the bunker door. Get out. You were able to calmly clear the entire map. I feel... Did you have a melee person, NY Destroyer? Because I really felt like my sword person has not been carrying their weight. Uh, I feel that maybe my positioning with them is wrong, or just like the way the maps are set up, but like melee feels quite weak. I can't believe I got out alive with everybody there. I'm like actually shocked that we survived that. Hey, what's up, Kinetic? Oh, what's up, everybody? Oh, uh, sorry. You just, yeah, you got here just as I finished an extremely stressful level. Oh my god. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Hey, I'm Serge. I'm a full-time, family-friendly Canadian streamer here on Twitch. Um, I do 
uh, strategy games, sometimes roguelike games, and also games that are pretty. Basically, if there's a spreadsheet and an aesthetic, that's my niche. So welcome. Yeah, I think we raided uh, Kinetic yesterday when he was doing some Project Zomboid. But we met, I think, back in the They Are Billions days or something like that. So welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for that raid, friend. What were you doing today? You're playing some cool, like, Skyraft game, right? Something like that? You watched the D&D movie last night? I did, too! I hadn't seen it! I wore the shirt to celebrate. It was so good. We're going to return the favor and check out the game. It's called Aloft. Weapon boost in the cloud zone is pretty good, too. You can check that out. Weapon boost, eh? Puts the weapon in a boosted state, allowing the character to fire more free shots. Let's give that a try. How's the game? How's your stream? All right, let's try this slice limb. Maybe that gets better. I don't know. I've been feeling, been feeling like melee is very, very weak in this game. What does slice them do? Move and attack all adjacent enemies. But I don't know what that looks like. You know what I mean? Shoots everything in a straight line. Attack range of 10. Does not cost any AP. Like, let's just try different skills here, you know? Stun grenade. Aloft is cool. Floating rock islands in the sky that you can sail. Demo right now, early access next year. Sick. Well, I did enjoy the heck out of Raft. And I mean, Raft, Void Train, there's a lot of very fun sort of like, what if you had a survival base builder, but you had to move your base, right? So, kind of tempted to increase the damage of grenades. It's a little bit frustrating that all it does is increase the max by one. Provides a free combat action that grants an extra action point to the character who uses it. One per combat. Yeah, that seems smart. What is this? Every character gets a free action that increases the move range by two per current turn. The action can be used twice per combat. Boy Train is full release soon. Pretty excited. Yeah. The survival houseboat genre. Wow, I actually love calling it the houseboat genre. Let's take one free action here. Maybe that'll help me out. So yeah, uh, we're on level two of this game right now. The difficulty spike between level one and level two is outrageous. <laughs> so uh, we're like a little sweaty right now because we just got like mega bullied, but somehow we're still going. Yeah. Hey, Dr. Nick, thank you so much for 29 months, friend. Uh, so the game is a combination of XCOM and then you have sort of this darkest dungeon camp style. So we have action points. We try and keep their stun managed. We try and heal them back up. We try and do a little bit of crafting. But like, because we had to run in that level, we didn't really get to loot anything. But that's fine. Let's, well, we live, we learn, we laugh, love. One percent to hit. Way to go, bud. All right, we've learned that we want to give all the grenades to the old man, though, which is kind of cool. Some medical supplies. Plus two grenades is huge. Little, uh, little propaganda there. Cheer everybody up, get some more action points. Charge my weapons. Energy cell training has been very, very powerful. All right, so I can only heal two people this round? Oh my god. Let's heal the medic. That's bad. That's very bad. One action point, four metal. All right, let's get some more grenades. Uh, 
Well, we made it past that level. That's cool. That's good. You know. <laughs> uh, I've only got three food. So let's go ahead and heal these three. And maybe the next level isn't as challenging. We'll find out. Try and get rid of tougher vermin. All right. So it turns out what I want to do is put extra grenades on you because you're cracked. So that's kind of cool. I feel like panic running will be a thing every now and then. We'll find out, right? We'll keep trying. We'll keep going. Oh, pardon me. The capital. The destroyed mines. What does... <laughs> You mean the mines we blew up like three missions ago? All right. Detonate the pile of shards. Okay, so this is another mission where we had to run for our life. So we want to get to here. And then we want to get out presumably. Oh, wait, this is the same layout? Very similar. Oh, interesting. You can use that shot even at the end of your movement. That's actually awesome. Yeah, hey babe, freshly destroyed mines just dropped. Impacts, nice. You ever heard the robot step before? Oh, this little guy? No, it wasn't. The one at the steppy legs is actually Mycroft. The robot doesn't make any noise. Oh, wait, no, it goes a little. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You're right. They make silly little noises. Little tippity tappities. Yeah, you are correct. Trying to get moving as quickly as I can before the combat starts. So I don't know if the beginning of combat is. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? time-based or proximity-based, right? Like if you hit a checkpoint and then the enemies are like, haha, you fool, it's go time or not, you know? All right, we got some food there. Is that cover? Yeah, it is. Still nothing. Bet when I get to that banner, the rats are going to pop off. I mean, this is the big one, right? But, I mean, we'll see when we get there. I've arrived at the banner. Is there permadeath? Yes. Uh, you can resurrect them, but if they die, they die. Oh, sorry, you can revive if they're downed, is the uh, the terminology we're looking for. Aha! 
Snipers. <laughs> Please come on down. There's meta progress as well. Yeah, a lot of the gun upgrades you're getting, uh, the characters that you're unlocking, those are all meta progress. Inhale that support gas. Yep. Nice. Okay, that's already so much better. Oh, oh, oh. Really? Sometimes I don't understand the range on these enemies. You know? Let's try, let's try moving forward a little bit more aggressively with Sword Friend. And then you two chill in Overwatch mode. So now when they push towards us, right? Do you think that's a you think that's an inhaling gas? What do you think that is? It could be a gas. That's that's fair. I don't hate that idea. Nice. Nice. A combat stimulant. Oh, I'm being attacked from behind too. Well, that's rude. <laughs> How dare they? Okay, well, it's pretty obvious. It's time for me to run. It's probably not healthy in the long run. You know, in the midst of the zombie, zombie, in the midst of the rat apocalypse, the rat apocalypse, if you will. I think I'm okay with them making um, some short-term concessions. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know what else I'm disappointed in? I'm disappointed that swords don't... Swords is the wrong word. Yeah, that swords don't have some type of benefit. I missed that 72 flank. It's very disappointing. Uh, that melee is so bad against um, armor and stuff, right? Like maybe the chain sword should get a, bo a boost. I don't know. Once again, once again, I'm trying to get uh, buffs to melee because it feels bad. I'd rather die to long-term gas inhalation than being attacked, eaten by rat aliens. Yeah, you know? You can do the combo of melee. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So if it's like you do something like this. And then shoot once. Everybody gets a bonus action point. Where'd that where'd that bonus action point go? Why didn't that work? It's the other way around. You shoot it, then you melee it. Disappointing. That's odd that it has to be in a specific order. That feels bad. Hold on. Uh, combat trick. Called hack and slash or something like that. Chop and blast. Why not hack and slash? Hit an enemy with a melee and a ranged in a single turn. Doesn't seem it. No, it doesn't give you an extra action point either. You just stun them. So because they died. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, no, that, that, does, that didn't help us. It's all good. It's all good. Mostly just disappointed is all. 
All right, we're going to use this to reload all of my weapons. Let's get up here. Uh, Joe just brought me coffee. I'm very in love. Did you know that? Oh, that's good. Coffee. Joe, what coffee is that? That's delicious. Pardon me? It's very good coffee. Alright, who has a... Oh, right, 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 right. I can save a fusion core if I let my drone do it. I remember that now. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do here is actually probably move on ahead with these two and try and get some forward looting done. You know what I mean? This might be a little bit risky, but I think this is sort of the press your luck style decisions that I might be might have to do here. Who's here? Okay, so four up ahead. Doesn't do anything for me. If I go here, at least I get a free overwatch. Uh, if I just start straight running, that's a knife guy, that's a gun guy. I think I get away without being shot, I think. Two turns of charging. Oh, buckets. I should have overwatched. I thought it would have been immediate. Oh, what a shot! You want more loot? You can loot at the start rather than the end of your turn. So you trigger looting spree by looting two or three piles in a turn. Yeah, I don't care to optimize that, but that is fair. I'm like aware that that's a mechanic, but it seems more than I want to have to think about. Yeah, like getting it to work is obviously quite good. Ooh, that's right there. That's a problem to deal with. So we're kind of just stuck out in the open there, aren't we? Oh, double overwatch. Crap. That was my bad. Um, I should get up and help them. There's only... There's no enemies behind. Okay. Am I on fire? No. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the explosion should be done pretty quick here. Pretty quick, I mean, this turn. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm often just grabbing whatever. 
I'm often just grabbing whatever I can. Just, you know, to try and get out and loot as I go, rather than trying to optimize it, because, I don't know, it seems very difficult. Oh, I can attack twice if I go from here. So how does this work? Slice them. Ah, I understand. Weapon is hot. Well, just start running, my dude. <laughs> Just start running. It's not a great shot, but better than no shot. Yeah, that's fair. Overwatch removed. Not dead, though. That's the coolest part. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Uh, let's try and shred first. Nice. Okay, that means I should be able to use the sword here to finish them off. Alright. Um, so I have nine turns this time. I might be able to get up there. Last time we couldn't really loot any of this good stuff. So let's go here. So I kind of wanted to set up and get like the free reload, but I know I can't because I need them to open the robot. All right, so let's go here. Loot, reload. Choke point feels good. Yeah, it's the hope. Get up to here. You to here. Eight turns. We got this. Now that's not cover. It's kind of frustrating. So I have to run all the way back here if I want cover. Interesting that I don't provoke an attack of opportunity there. Let's toggle alt. Like, how did you how did you not shoot? Oh, was it move and reload? Are they not in Overwatch? It must not be in Overwatch, I understand. Upgrade parts is big. Wow, another fusion core is so really big. How's your health? Terrible. Good talk. Um, I kind of feel like I'm actually supposed to fall back here. Oh my god. <laughs> did their range get bigger? How did this happen? Alright, robot can't make it out. You can make it out. You can't make it out. Uh, I think I just need to get her out. First things first. I think I get you. A 
what are you doing? I'm like kind of tempted for half a second to put him down there in Blade Overwatch, which is bad. So my issue is I, I need to get my Robo out, right? Maybe I just do this. This completely blocks line of sight though is the problem. So they can't shoot from there. the best I can do this turn. What about the guy who hits everybody in the line? The rifle guy? They weren't really lined up is the issue. Just used all my turns shooting a melee guy. Overwatch removed. Crude. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Did I play it perfectly? Almost certainly not. But... Looks like we're gonna make it out. Nice, let's go. Heck yeah. I didn't get to use that, um, I didn't get to use either of my new abilities. But we got some, we actually got some stuff this time. That felt good. That felt good. Those have managed to escape. Hide in the underground bunker. We know vermin for a little while, so you have time to rest. All right. Level up on a couple people, level up on a single person. Wonder if melee needs shield and taunt? So, in XCOM, in XCOM, you get a free attack of opportunity if anybody enters into melee on your melee units, and that is so powerful. And it lets you forward position them aggressively without losing the, when and it sort of, it lets you move them forward aggressively and sort of abuse the, um, the action economy is a good word to talk about for that one, and I have not been able to think for a second on how to how to work that properly. Entering Overwatch also increases your movement by 10. That's strong. I mean, let's just keep improving her overwatch there, you know? Sora, thank you for 100 biddies. Jumping in for an obligatory hydration check. I'm drinking delicious water right now, thank you. Let's take first aid training. It's okay, like we're making it through the levels. Septum, thank you so much for that prime, welcome back. Some intense music, and this is a resub. Appreciate that, friend. I'm here. All right, uh, let's get rid of the enemies are tougher. And oof, let's keep going. All right, a little bit of propaganda, you know, as a treat. Then yeah, we got another upgrade. What's this? Hair trigger. That's a chance that all action points will get refunded after a shot.
extra planning to the automaton. It's kind of cool. Let's do better fusion bombs. I had to use that a couple of times. All right. Whew. Old soldier's advice. Full world on a lot of stuff there. Oh my goodness, I only have enough to heal one person. Devastating. All right, Rose. Let's go ahead and heal you. Okay, good stuff. Didn't actually take any damage. How do I have nine points right now? Like what in the world? Oh, I've been healing more, but I didn't get enough material to actually heal everything this time. Okay, that's fine. All right, upgrades on Rose. Yeah, because she's overwatching. We're going to want maybe more damage on her. What can I What can I put here? Okay. Got armor shredding there. I've got two points. So I can give her another point of damage. Because she's getting so many free shots. It's not a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't mind that. We're going to try and turn her into our, like, lean, mean, killing machine over here, you know? Three to eight damage. Sure. All right, everyone rest up. Now you get two rests each. Get that crit chance way on up, you know? Distribute the food. Everybody gets one. <laughs> I'm cursed pants. Snurge? Sometimes you worry me, friend. A little bit of illusion of choice here. We get one option. Uh, into the Kenwall sewers. This is a longer distance. That's unfortunate. Special loot food supplies. A stash of food is present here. Special encounter. Uh, you know, let's maybe take the path less traveled this time <laughs> and go, go a little on the easier route, you know? All right, wish me luck. Let's do this. The Capital. Kenwall Sewers. <sighs> All right. Some good loot there. Definitely want to head up there. And then there's sort of a pick your, push your luck style. All right. So we're trying to go as quickly as possible. Well, we have to go, we have to go down. Down and then up through there is the way to go. I've been playing a cultivation indie game, and man, does it really capture all my friends didn't make it to the next level, so they died off. I <laughs> expected cultivation. What game? What game are you playing out of curiosity? Did you see the uh, the cultivation like JRPG style game that I played? It's only in Chinese with a fan, fan, hand translation. Wow, words just kind of failed me for a second there. Still, that sounds cool as heck. Nothing found.
Sounds like your jam. What was that one called? That one was called... Oh, God. Somebody in chat's got to be able to help me out. Anybody? Oh, no. What was it called? Something Blade? No. Hold up. I think I, I think I put it on my wish list. Store. Uh, no. Wandering Blade? Think so? Steam, please. Wandering Sword? Something like that? Uh, did I just kill the game? Hello? Uh, <laughs> oh, well, uh, apparently that just reset the game. Oh, no. How much do you think I lost? That sucks. Hey, Lila, thank you so much for nine months of tier two support. Really appreciate you. Wandering Sword is what it was called. Uh, I hope there's autosave. <laughs> I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> Continue. Last time we hard saved was before the lunch break. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it saves. It literally saves at your turn. Oh. Gonna be real with you, friends. I don't know if I would have kept going today if, uh, <laughs> if the game had died there. You know? Iron Man style saves. Nice. Loot's full random? That's kind of cool. You know what? I think I got time to get into here. Like, you're not done with a game forever, but you'll be get done with a game for the day, right? You're like, oh, cool. I just lost two and a half hours of work. I wonder what else I could do today, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, I guess I'm going to go touch grass or something. It's a pretty clear sign from the universe that uh, <laughs> I need to rethink what I'm doing today. All right, I got a feeling about to say. I was like, I got a feeling we're going to see some enemies pretty quick here. feel of I just lost four hours of progress isn't something the zoomers will ever experience. Oh, they play indie games. Oh, that is that is not going to be unique to a generational thing. You will absolutely play a game that will just just bad bad feels you out of nowhere. Bye. I don't know where you're going. Wait, let's try out the new ability here. Weapon boost. Puts the weapon in a boosted state, allowing the character to file up to two free shots this turn. Let's dance. Up to two. I didn't feel like a lot more shots than normal. <laughs> you know? 
gets better as it scales. Second upgrade is four shots. I mean, four shots is better than two shots. That is true. Did I take damage on top of that? I think I did, didn't I? Brittle. Nice shot. Search. Found nothing. gonna do anything there buddy yeah you moving good cool turn Good. I thought I misclicked for a second. Aha! Together here. Uh, Hello, large friend. All right, let's start moving this way. So let's get you up to here. <laughs> you live there now. Good job. Good job, little buddy. You're really, you're really helping. At least the katana lady had passive bonus movement, so she could like hang behind, uh, behind, <laughs> and like loot a bunch of stuff as we went. I mean, chainsword guy has, has not felt good. I feel bad. I keep, I keep like ragging on chainsuit, chainsuit guy, but like, it's just been such a disappointment, you know? Dad? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's maybe take one second here and have a little firefight. I'm gonna put you here, and I'm actually gonna stim pack real quick, because we're getting a little low. It's fine. I just don't want to get pincered because I bet you I'm going to come around the corner in a second and run into um, a whole bunch of rats. So kind of cleaning this up first. Seems like it'd be a good idea. Nice. 
Can you get in there and do anything? No? Okay, good talk. <laughs> I mean, let's put you here. get the kill. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we did something. My god. Can you believe it? Am I being too mean to our melee guy? Are you starting to feel bad for them? Old, uh, old James Hexter, Hector Turner over here. Yeah, I'm being too mean to them? Okay. If you were in charge, if you were James, if you were Mr. Turner, what would you be doing differently? How do you think we can get getting more out of James? Not use a sword. Yeah. If I were James, I would have brought a gun. <laughs> Very clever. Simply get good. All excellent advice. Something I could have done slightly differently there is I could have maybe tried to get the looting bonus. Set up looting spree so when we open that we got slightly more loot, but again, I don't think my brain is in any position to be able to min-max to that extent. Alright, question for you. Do we greed and go grab this or do we just leave? What do you think? Are you on team greed or safe leave? Greed seems good here. I don't I don't seem to be under any particular pressure, so I think we could greed. Honestly, everything seems fine so far, yeah. It seems actually relatively safe. All right, everybody's basically saying I'm a genius. I can respect that. All right, let's run by and take a little peek, right? <laughs> Hello!
<laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm actually gonna open this door right now. Just in case. Just in case we have to run. So we're gonna give ourselves the five turn. The five turn leave, you know what I mean? I'd like it if you didn't miss. And in fact, it? How about you? Okay, there we go. So I only get one attack of opportunity on... Oh, they're not even rounding the corner yet. That's fine. Oh my god, that damage. What is the damage on this dude? Wow. Okay, that's a free overwatch if I move her to there. Alright, so this time I am going to hold off on looting everything, and I'm going to try and get the looting bonus here. Oh, hello. Interesting. Well. Well, let's do it. You have no... No eyes. Try and shred the big guy. Stuff. Two turns until that goes back on cooldown. So like what if I what if I did this? What if I just got really greedy? <laughs> you know? What if I just did that? Oh, you're out of bullet. Awkward. Okay. Good talk. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. 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 Sure. You know what? Why not? Let's be aggressive. Like, let's let's get in there. See what happens. Kill the big guy. Shing! And then, uh, do we care? I don't think we care. Ah, I made, I made a bad. I should have shot and then reloaded. Would have been the, uh, the correct play there. Shredded. Oof, one HP. That's bad. Doors open. Ah, now because I opened the door and I'm far away. Oh, everyone got the minus stress anyways. That's good. You like the pixel work? It's pretty cool, eh? Right now we clean up. Nope, wrong button. Shing. Okay. Loot. 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 Loot it all. Start getting you out of here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, so maybe that one mission was just really hard. Or maybe I just did something really bad because I feel... I feel good now. Watch like a mega mob juggernaut spawn in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be kind of fitting, wouldn't it? Oh, they are coming based on <laughs> based on the amount of movement I saw there they are in fact coming guns just in case. All right, GG. So much loot. We got so much loot that time. Oh, fantastic. Everybody leveled up too? Incredible. Sure. Let's try this weapon boost thing here. Four to six damage to everybody in there.
I haven't loved Penetrating Shot yet, but maybe that's just because I haven't seen it. Okay, we're still alive. This is all uncharted territory now. Never done this well before. Got some food, got some grenades. Got some medical supplies. Got some medical supplies. Got some more medical supplies and some bandages. Okay. Okay, so now I should be able to fully heal everybody, is the hope. Yeah, I've got enough bandages that I can full heal everyone. I feel like we have stabilized a little now, which feels very good. Alright, now, who gets an upgrade? <laughs> Poor Hector. <laughs> uh, let's put another point in um, another point in armor piercing here on the rifle. All right, and now everybody can rest once and get a little crit boosty. Should really stop putting anything on Hector. I definitely feel like I have three and a quarter people in the party. I've got three people and like a porter. Somebody to run around and pick up my stuff. Riel! Yo, friend, thank you for that prime. All right, we got tons of food. Let's get a dodge bonus on everybody. All right. Less loot might die or more loot, no grenades. Uh, we're going to go with the more loot here. Auto signed everybody. It doesn't really matter where things end up. Except for maybe like that. Bendale Warehouses. Grenades, what's that? Surge, probably? Yeah. So, I could run up here to get some weapon upgrades, but that is a dead end. Or, I've got one more and an upgrade there. I think we actually skip this. I don't think we need this. I think we grab these two. And again, just in the interest of kind of moving as quickly as we can, get up. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Check the corner. Should be working on a C++ exam, but watching you is more fun. Well, that's flattering. I'm glad I'm better than your test. Not better, sorry. More entertaining than your test. I'll put that on my CV. Was once told I was more entertaining than studying. More entertaining than C++. Harder than you think, you know? You think we should send our sword guy up here to grab these? Yeah, I do. Watch me activate a pod that's like right here though. Oh, thank goodness. Sir, 
Surge more entertaining than C++ Jaeger. Thank you, Raven. I'm glad we've immortalized this now. All right, how are we doing? We found the rats yet? No. I bet you even money right there, though. Even money. Watching paint dry is more entertaining than C++? Wait, rats with even larger knives. Wait, hold on. Who's the new one with the, with the large knife? Oh, that one. Oh, hello. That is a big knife. You know what? No, I want to get down here. I found them. Good good job. <laughs> good job, Mycroft. Oh, you found another one that we didn't see previously. Uh, I need to get to there. Surprised I didn't get a free overwatch on her there. I guess that's fine. So I think I actually want to push forward a bit here. Nice shot. Maybe? Need to get here, and I need to shred. Woo. Does air guitar hand signs. Alright, if I run to here, I get the free overwatch. You are comically out of position. Good job, buddy. I mean, I could put you on Overwatch. And then I'll move you here. Gas time. St oh, that's the stuff. <clears throat> Oh no! They brought their own poisonous gases. The humans are dead. The humans are dead. How's rat combat? Oh, it's delightful. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Oh, what a shot! If I get there, will I get poisoned? Yes. So if I run here... I run there. I, don't, I think I'm just out in the open and now I'm sad. Okay, well that sucks. That's just so rude. <laughs> Can you believe that? Ugh. Some people. Now, here's an interesting question. Can our robot be poisoned? Excellent. Signs point to no. Alright, everybody's got stims, so everybody get out of the poison. does stress them, though, but that's okay. Very rude. Alright, so this is how you get the most loot, right? Loot three in a row. That gets you the looty boosty, right? Looting spree, there it is. Stress hasn't really been an issue this playthrough. Yeah. 
And then hopefully with the looting spree, I get a boost on that. Or maybe. I just find more rats? Crap. Okay, I was not ready for this. Yeah, that is a rat with an enormous knife, isn't it? Java's the best. Coffee is king. Winky face. Oh, hey! Oh, flanks! Uh-oh. Alright, can I redo the juice right now? I can. Alright, everybody... Everybody get the good stuff. Fall back a bit here. And then you... Where are you gonna go? I want you to move forward. I want you to do something. <sighs> Join the team. Alright, here we go. Let them crash upon us like waves upon the shore. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of a rat version of the wah. How do you feel about that? Go. Get him. <laughs> My man. Oh, wait. They're out of range. Oh, everything's terrible. Interesting. Her Overwatch is actually worse if I just tell her to get into Overwatch, which is a little bit disappointing. Like, if I had just wasted her turn and made her run around, that Overwatch would have been better than the Overwatch I got there. That's fascinating. Fine, let's use this penetrating shot for the first time. Hey, there we go. That's for my team. All right, where are we going? Potentially down that way? Hurtful. So I can just leave or I can greed for a little bit more loot.
always be greedy. It's a good philosophy. Actually, this is kind of neat. So instead of reloading, I can just go into support mode for a turn. That lets me overwatch here, which is perhaps a small optimization compared to how I've been playing previously. Random fusion core lying around. Always be greedy. Really? All right. You say so. I'll wait for this dude to come around the corner. Blam, blam. Blam, blam. What? Oh, no. dare you miss? Oh, we found another enemy. That's awkward. So if I move her to here, this is so weird, and then to here, she'll technically get three overwatch shots that never miss, which is uh, really quite something. Can rats vent in your bot's smoke? I don't know. I want to kill this Plague Bearer. Nice shot. Wait. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll try and do that next turn. Oh. I don't know if rats have ever gotten close enough to vent inside of the smoke is the other thing. Rude. Oh my god. Hey, check it out. Look, he's doing something. <laughs> Finally! the corner or or not you know that that's cool too all right i have seven fusion cores so i'm gonna go ahead and say that i'm probably cool to just use one to get out of here early how, how would you feel about that good call yay nay We outie. GG. I didn't really get down there and greed too hard, but you know, that's okay. You never want too much greed, right? Just, just a little bit, a little pinch of greed. A little bit of spice in your life.
Level nine, wow. Wow, that's a big boost. Four to eight damage instead? You know, if we have to use it in a panic, I wanna have that ready, you know? Your robot got a pretty bad shot. Yeah, my robot getting domed for five there. Unexpected, kind of rude, to be honest, you know? All right, old soldier's advice. Let's go ahead and search some stuff. Got some good stuff. Search the crates, search the shelves. I have to repair the robot now. A little bit of propaganda, you know, keep everyone nice and happy. <laughs> for the Emperor, yes, 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 for the Emperor. And I still have six actions left after all of this, it's absurd. Repair our robot one more time, because why not? Yeah, like that'll looks good, you know? All right, I can upgrade something. I could upgrade the robot. Let it self-repair. Nah. Got two points here. I could do damage somewhere. I could do another energy cell as well. Maybe on my sniper? Or on, actually, maybe on Rose here with our Super Overwatch. Give her better aim. Give him better aim. <laughs> Poor Hector. <laughs> uh, every time I look at Hector for just a second, I shake my head and I move on, you know? Wait, what's the difference between dodge and defense? Defense lowers the percentage chance of getting hit. Dodge represents an extra chance afterwards to avoid a successful attack. Oh! Dodging is also the only way to avoid a melee attack. That's interesting. Give Hector something, but he's so useless. Like, we want to make the sword better. The only thing you can do to give Hector better stuff is to upgrade his gun, but his gun isn't where it's at, right? Like, the gun, it's just a pistol. The damage is weird. The accuracy is weird. Like, this is supposed to be the secondary weapon. And it's like the skill tree is to make sword stuff better. I don't know. It's possible I'm just not utilizing it correctly, or just doesn't mesh with my particular playstyle. But it doesn't feel like investing into Hector will make Hector better, if that makes sense. I would rather make my good things better than my bad, my worst character slightly better. What's the old League of Legends thing? Invest in a winning lane? To that end, let's just give more damage to Mycroft. Oh, right. Nope. No, no, no. I want to give everybody more crit. The universal axiom, the rich get richer. Kinda, yeah. I didn't realize League of Legends was just a, a parallel for capitalism, but here we are. Oh, interesting. There were... 
different paths, depending on which way we took. And this one leads to more loot. Sure. All right. Automatically distribute. Once again, give an extra one to Rose. Uh, and I think everyone just loads up the sniper with more grenades because his, his damage boost is everywhere. Looks like Adora from She-Ra. Interesting. What's up, Laden Swallow? I think I want to go for a run today after the stream. I haven't gone jogging in like 10,000 years. It's going to suck going to be a miserable experience. All right, the nice thing is I can grab all of the good loot here, except for maybe that one. Ah, I think I can greed and get that one too. Seen modern Shira. I've heard very good things about it. Yeah, my jog is going to be miserable though. It's very gay and lots of fun. Heck yeah. All right, no rats around the corner. Come on. Good stuff. Didn't even think about the fact that there could just be rats everywhere. Modern Shira, it's on um it's on Netflix, right? Oh, I just lost my booting, booting bonus. Oh, well. Does one need to be familiar with original Shira to appreciate modern Shira? I Probably not. Oh, yeah, it's Netflix, so even knows if it's on there anymore. Yeah, that's tough, but fair. Oh, my God. It's very funny and kind of unfortunate. All right, that's in good cover and you have Overwatch and we found the rats, found the rats. Hello. <laughs> How do you do? Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have maybe run forward to try and line up that uh, straight shooter for the first time. Oh well. What are rats doing in Rat XCOM? I'm shocked too. I don't know. Hello. Good. I appreciate it when you miss. Oh, you know what I get to do? Ah, oh, clean up. Less of a cleanup I was hoping for. Uh, hello? That was shockingly disappointing. 69%? Oh, it's 75 now. All right, we have to hold here for two turns.
Have we saved any new friends since Rose? No, it looks like you only get a fourth member to rescue if someone else dies, if that makes sense. Oh, I could probably be dodging this. I just realized this is only useful if you need a repair, you want more levels on your robo. And I don't actually think I care. Fascinating. All right, let's go peek the corner here. Feels very D&D &D and replacing dead characters. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, like it's never been, hey, would you like to recruit a new person and swap somebody out? It's somebody got to die. Oh, hello. Good stuff. Good stuff, Rose. Rose, you're such a good shooter. All right, hold on. Let's test our wombo combo here. Actually, I don't even think I need to. I think I just get a couple of free shots. Oh, 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 oh. I got a crit and it refilled all of my APs. Sacrificing my melee character in order to get a non-melee may be a good strategy. Maybe the problem is it's actually really challenging to get a new character. Oh, am I in the way? I'm in the way of everybody here. What a shot! Everybody in, everybody's reloaded. Yeah. It's like an interesting thought maybe, you know, to let somebody die, but like having fewer members and it's not a guarantee to get a new person, right? It's like halfway through a level, often in a like terrifying circumstance. And like the hardest fight you're gonna have in the entire level is when somebody else is going to show up and be like, oh, hello, would you like to join your squad? <laughs> They're currently dying and surrounded by enemies. You're like, great. Don't much appreciate that, going to be honest. Wow, it's a big looting bonus. Nothing like testing a rookie by fire. It's not even like you don't even start with them. It's not even the, like the trial by fire XCOM style because you have to rescue them, right? Like your whole team is already disadvantaged. And then you also have to um, like you're disadvantaged because you're down numbers. And then you also have to heal this person who's bleeding out. There's a reason the entire last playthrough, we only ever had three people. I mean, mind you, I wasn't, I, you know, I was still doing bad at the game, but still I digress. All right, we're gonna overwatch crawl our way up this hallway. All right, where are these rats at? Oh, that was not the person I thought I was moving. Is Mycroft a common name? I've seen it in another game, but I don't think I've ever encountered it in real life. Right, that's another reason why I thought this was in jolly old England and not in Murica. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have moved them forward to break the line of sight there. Mycroft is Sherlock Holmes's brother. Okay, it's fine. Behold. Watch this. They're all going to line up perfectly for us. Okay, stay there, but don't stab me. <laughs> shot. Nice shot. Wait. Oh, 
Okay, they refuse to get into a nice clean line for me. Very disappointed. Aha! All right, so let's do this. Uh, weapon boost, four free shots. All right, you ready? You know, that was good stuff. anything here. No. Let's go ahead and bunker down. Hunker down. Alright. Now, this fool walks towards me. Haha! <laughs> oh my god, they did it. Alright, we give him the, uh, the shashasha. They didn't die? I want to try and get down there as well. Wait, I have to go down. Oh, wait, anyways. Oh, I don't know why I action boosted. Like, like this was the exit and I wanted to go down and get extra loot. It's kind of funny. It's amazing what you can learn by asking questions. Oh yeah, I mean the whole conversation about like Minecraft and stuff like that. Yeah. Also, by the way, this is something that maybe I... I should stress more often. Um, I love it when Twitch chat talks to each other, <laughs> which might seem like kind of a weird thing to say, but a reminder that community is not all of you talking to me because that's impossible. I can't hold a conversation with hundreds of people at the same time. But like this being the sort of place where people can hang out with each other, chat with each other and answer, and, and, you know, ask and answer interesting questions. That's, that's what makes this space awesome, right? That's what makes community, so. Yeah, if you got interesting facts, if you got interesting wins, share your stuff. Tell us about yourselves, you know? All right, let's load up this corner here. That and puns, and, and hooting and hollering for canals, apparently. That's what really makes a community. Enemies? Nice. No enemies. Pets and food and puns. All right, let's get down in here. Lurkers that can hang out in the shadows if they want to, for sure. Employ each other, winky phase? I mean, maybe sometimes, who knows? Pets and food and puns. Three Ps of any community. Let's get down to business to repeat the puns is very good. I mean, the other, I mean, I suppose the other one on that would be uh, to repost memes.
All right, now we play the waiting game. That was a very clean level. Did I take damage? Anyone else play Oxygen Not Included? I streamed it a while ago, and that game was just too smart for me, which is unfortunate. Well done, Mr. Valentine. Are you on Team Valentine or Valentine when it's a proper noun? here. Ooh, that's a lot of them. Ooh, that's a lot of them. All right. Uh, I'm sure I can just overpower them with all of my bullets. I know a couple people in the community checked it out. Oxygen not included, that is. The person I know played like the most of it, I think, was Hosk. Oh, you shot the one person you can't hit, you fool. Uh, she's owning. Valentine, but pronounced like Christine. Valentine? Come on. Why did they simply not overwatch all the time and kill all the rats? I know. Wait, hold on. Am I surrounded by enemies? This is bad. Alright, the door is open. Here's a good question. Can I just leave? Uh, signs point to yes. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Just simply never not overwatch forehead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Everybody's leveled up. Level eight. All right, I've kind of put points in everything. I'm thinking of, I think I've got a little bit more flexibility now. I'm thinking of search old stashes or improved armor. And I think I'm gonna go with um, improved armor here. Let's continue to upgrade sword. Sure. Attack range of 12. Okay. Should be trying to line up that, that shot a little bit more often. How you doing there? We've almost completely leveled you up. Today I learned that there was a spin-off movie called Enola Holmes, released by Netflix, and then a sequel based on the supposed sister of Sherlock. Yeah, I'd seen that on um I'd seen that on Netflix for a while, based off a series of books. I think it I heard Enola Holmes was actually pretty good. I I didn't see. It. I'd heard good things about it. Joe, did you watch Enola Holmes? They said it was a movie, not a was it a movie or a series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. Joe watched it. She said it was fine. High praise coming from Joe. No, I'm 
Oh wow, five to ten on these. It's a movie, okay. Ah, uh, jeez, what do I even do here? More damage from grenades? Sherlock has more books and series that are based on it than comedy known. A particular favorite is A Study in Emerald by Neil Gaiman. Really? Is inspired by the writing of Sherlock Holmes? That's kind of cool. I had no idea. Uh, I think I want to take Run again, just in case. We're at the point now that I don't feel like I have as many crucial upgrades, but I am happy to have things to upgrade, if that makes sense. Uh, let's max out our damage on this gun. Because... That seems smart to do. Did I give you anything else here? Air trigger auto cooling? No. Uh oh, geez. You know what? Let's uh let's ignore our <laughs> our friend and put increases chance to judge. There we go. Put some more defensive units on our automaton. <laughs> oh, plus nine to hit. Let's go. Wow, found nothing. Feels good. I think if we did another playthrough of this, we would try no melee character. Hold on, House MD was a Sherlock Holmes interpretation? No, wait, really? How was House a Sherlock Holmes adaptation? Hold on, go with me on a journey here. Um. Am I correct in thinking that the lead actor in House used to be part of a British, uh, a British like duo comedy thing, like part of a like a straight man and like what's that classic? Yeah, Fry and Laurie. Yeah, that threw me off. I had no idea. It was randomly it showed up on my YouTube the other day, and I was like. Is this the same dude? He was also on Black Adder. What? Wait, 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 wait. House is actually supposed to be on Sherlock Holmes? What? But, sorry, you're saying the names. Sure, House is Holmes, I get it. Wilson is Watson, but like, one's about Doctor and the other's about Mysteries. Genius with addictive tendencies and a foul temperament. I guess? I mean, you're, you're not wrong, but what? House is supposed to be Sherlock Holmes if he was modern and a doctor. Oh, yo, 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 hold on. Wasn't there a really interesting... So there are two other Sherlock Holmes adaptations. There was one, which was also modern day, where um, Sherlock... Oh, man. It's like Sherlock is an addict. He's always an addict. And... Watson is his, like, parole officer? That was called Elementary. Yeah. What was, who played it? Was it Lucy Liu? Am I correct? Am I remembering that correctly? That one was kind of neat. The Sober Companion. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one was kind of cool. And I'm trying to think of, wasn't there a TV series... There was obviously the Benedict Cumberbatch TV series. That one was fun. The first season was the best. The later seasons, that one got a little bit weirder. I didn't like when they got untold, like, the Mind Palace stuff. But I did enjoy Benedict Cumberbatch's Sherlock. And I'm trying to think, wasn't there a another TV adaptation with a female Sherlock? This is what I'm getting also like the, the Herlock Sholmes versions of Sherlock. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yeah, there, we're talking about Enola, Enola Holmes earlier, Farisar. Yeah, but there was another one. I think it wasn't like about the sister. It was actually, this is earlier. This is maybe like 10 years ago or something like that. Maybe I'm all, it's all getting confused. It's fine. 
Hey, I think I'm going to stop here, by the way. Sorry. Just like to end rather abruptly. This has been fun, but I've been going for six hours. And I'm kind of tired. And I, I do legitimately think I'm going to go out and go for a jog. I want to try and get some cardio. The weather is getting nice, but it's not like too nice. It'd be miserable. Oh my God. Dog champ. Jog, dog, jog champ. I hate that. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Today's been really fun. Today's been pretty swell, you know? Ran this morning. It's wonderful out. Heck yeah. You're all wonderful. Appreciate all the things that you do. I couldn't do this without you. So thank you for that. Let's talk about the next couple days. Tomorrow, we're going to be returning to the Astral Create server, doing a little send-off server tour with everybody, which is a lot of fun. And then the rest of the week, I'm going to be doing a mixture of... I don't know if I want to start... Maybe I'll ask Discord. I don't know if I want to start the RPG right away, if I want to do more 4X and then switch. Eventually, I want to get to the point where I'm doing or um, Age of Wonders on the weekend and doing an RPG on the week, but I'm not quite sure where that transition is going to kick in. But look forward to that coming up because that should be a good time. Was I thinking about the YTV series of Sherlock's great-granddaughter? I have no idea. I just remember like a female Sherlock, but I don't remember how it all came together. But thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thank you for all the ways that you support me. I really do appreciate it. I couldn't do this without all of you. So thank you for that. And, uh, yeah, thanks for just hanging out, chatting, keeping you company, you know, all that lovely stuff. All right, let's go raid somebody. I don't know whomst, though. I'm going to raid Amy. Amy's playing magic or doing something with magic. I have no idea. Let's go send some love her way. I like Amy a lot. Hopefully you will too. All right, everybody. Thanks. Bye.